What is going on? Welcome back to sunny Los Angeles as the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas marches on in day two of pool play. Day one was fantastic. We are halfway through day two and we have a big matchup right off the rip here. Raw Miami 24K. I'm your man Overtime Day, joined by my brother, d <laughs> What's it do, man? How are we doing? I'm living, we're living good, man. We're excited to watch this matchup. We're, we're back. Raw Miami, 24K. 24K, what are some some things we Florida should look for Florida matchups, bro. Y'all yeah. matching up all these Florida teams, you feel me? But it is what it is, that's where the most talent lies. But <coughs> Florida squads face off with Raw win his first game. Them boys are 0-2 right now. Both teams are leaning on new QBs for LA. Who gonna make the difference? Obviously we know there's elite wide receivers, KJ Duff, Deion Blank, Louis McCoy, and a lot of others. And they just sounded the bell. It's time to play ball. It is time to get it going. Beckham Kritza, the QB for Raw Miami, and here we go. KJ crossed the second middle. Down, That's KJ Duff. So we had four divisionals for OT7 season two. We had season one in Vegas, four divisional season two. If you won your divisional, you punched your ticket to the championship. We had three winners because Low Pro won twice. The other nine teams got at-large bids. Both these teams, 24K and Raw Miami, had good springs. Not amazing, but good springs, and they punched their ticket. We, we deemed them worthy. Ooh, throwing it behind him. They're looking at KJ a lot right now. Why wouldn't you, the four star from? Ready to play also, <laughs> I'll find any opportunity I can. The only four or five star <laughs> boy love here Long Island. from New York. Well, New I mean, York. New York in general. Line of games, 25 yard line. Uh, and, again, and, I, I didn't even know y'all played ball up there, but. You know what? You feel we, me? Yo, we play some <laughs> hockey. We, we play some baseball. <laughs> we also play some Islanders. Football. I mean, you got to go. Uh, oh, who are man. the Islanders? <laughs> <laughs> so KJ Duff offers from Pitt A&M West Virginia. You'll hear his name a lot. He's listed as a tight end, but kind of of that Darren Waller like type hybrid. of mode. Yeah. yeah, that seems like to be the new brand of tight end, huh? Mm -hmm. You got to be able to do both. You feel me? Here comes the blitz. Oh, they throwing, oh good crap. Did they get the first down? They did. They gained enough yardage. First down markers are at the 25 in the. 10. We have three downs. D, explain the scoring for us. So the score is simple, man. You score a touchdown, you get seven points unless you take a one-point gamble, which if you complete it, you get an extra point. You go to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. Then on defense, you already know they getting all the money. Catch a pick, three points. Turnover on downs, two points. So lots of ways to score, man. D, Raw Miami did not have their mojo yesterday. Yeah, they're not Let's looking, keep they're it a buck. They they're did not, not look looking very too raw. Good. They're not looking too raw right now. What'd you make of their quarterback, Beckham Kritza? Now, he is a four-star, but he kind of struggled yesterday. Yeah, he, you know, maybe a little bit rattled. Um, he's on a big stage. Balls away. Oh, yeah, he just threw, threw a pretty nice completion. But I don't know. Maybe it's a big stage, new team, getting used to everybody. Maybe a little bit of growing pains, but they are missing their usual quarterback. Can you tell us a little more about him? Julian saying he'll be here later today. He's coming from Elite 11 where he won. Oh boy won MVP. He won MVP there. But I know you'll be you'll be tuned in with us later today okay. and he should be here later. Tom, is that do I hear you in, in my headset here? Yeah, you, what's you up, fellas? How what's going doing? on, Tom? Oh. There you are. Yo, Big I love Tom. hearing in Sniper, but I missed you guys. Oh man. I miss you too, Tom. Well, <laughs> it means a lot. He's nice for once. For what? I'm gonna be nice all day today, especially because pressure <laughs> went 0 2 this morning. Oh man. We'll get to that in a little bit. Critza looking Jesus deep. Christ, who are we throwing to the phone pit? <laughs> so Beckham Critza, four star QB, <laughs> class of 2025. Big boy. 6'4, 180, also plays basketball. I got you. From Rancho Santa Margarita. Santa Margarita. Got offers Colorado, Colorado State, Kansas. Now, this is. Group two, day one. Raw Miami 0 and 2. 24K 1 and 1. I would say, D, would you say 24 look K looked better yesterday? Yeah, nah, 24K look good. 24K look good. Um obviously our local boys did they thing. They look the best out of everybody. Trillion boys, you know, they came out and surprised me. They've been balling. Here's the blitz. Kritza throws it. Incomplete turnover on downs, tack on three. And D, you get two blitzes and two QB rushes. 24K just used both blitzes there on the first drive. What do you think of that? I mean, they, seven on seven is a strategy game. If you get a stop and you score on offense, you'll win the game. So they just trying to get the advantage early. First Quick clock, running clock. So, you know, they, they're trying to get ahead and stay there. So let's see what the offense does. 
So Tremel Jones will take over for 24K. They also have another QB coming later today, Trevor Jackson, who was at Elite 11. He apparently looked great there as well. So we'll see him later. Dog, Jameis. <laughs> yeah, so, James again, so explain Winston. that. You you thought he reminds you of James? Right, yesterday when Jones he was he, what, yesterday when he was uh, throwing, well, you know, he'd take his drop back, scan the field, and then take off running. And I swear his his running form reminded me so much of Jameis Winston. He took two steps, and I was like, Jameis. Why why do I feel like that's not a compliment? I mean, I, I love Jameis. Jameis is good, but I you Jameis got some good runs, bro. You remember that that memorable Florida State run? You know, he juke people, scored mm -hmm. a touchdown. Um, you know he's had some bad times as well, though, but <laughs> we're talking about him scrambling, not uh, taking crab legs and that like that, so. Or, or eating W's <laughs> in a pregame speech. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a big, we're gonna do a big dance. Whatever he said. You're, you're not a real one if you can't recite that speech. <laughs> you recite it with your own spin. <laughs> Tom, who do you have winning this game? We're still early, it's a two nothing game. Who do you have winning? Um, the 24K coach has been threatening me. So I'm gonna say him. But you've been threatened <laughs> by about a quarter of the coaches here so far. Oh, nobody's He's just oh. not pleased with anything I have to say or do. <laughs> That's Courtney Crutchfield, the four-star wide receiver. You know, I'm gonna try my best to not be bad. Uh, a biased yeah. yeah. announcer today, you know? I mean, be a, a, a regular, you know, just unbiased, yeah. down the middle. Show love when she loves do. Will. You can say yeah, that right. now. I know you. You will. <laughs> right. You will, and I will too. That's you're why right. we. That's why they gave us the headset. I just don't want nobody feeling no oh, tough way. Going out right. left, incomplete turnover oh, on downs, yeah, and we have complete. a pair of that's defensive a stops to start the game. And D, both, both teams, teams using their blitzes early up. here. I'm telling you, strategy, bro. Two, they both got stops. Well, two, 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 15 minutes left in the game. First down. This is the OT Somebody got to send it to you by Adidas. You know the refs try to jump me this morning, bro? I was there for that. That was they try, they try I, to jump me, bro. That's why I'm not, you know, I ain't, I'm gonna just hold my tongue today, man. I don't want to make any enemies out Not here. just that. And 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 I don't want to I don't want to to boost you up too much, but it was clear they had no idea who you were. I know. Who is D? And <laughs> Who is D? And they come up to me, who's D? Is he that kicker? <laughs> is he that kicker punter? <laughs> like, yes, he is that kicker punter. Man. Yeah, I'm just going to show love today, man. The refs doing a great job. They're making some good calls. Suck up. Suck up. You feel me? They're doing everything they have to do correctly, man, you know? It has been a slow offensive game here so far. A lot of the offense has been a little bit slow here hey, today. Hey, it ain't been slow. It's been great defensively. Man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. If you're missing open targets, is that slow or is that great defensively? <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. Oh, man. Beckham Kritza has a lot of great targets, so we'll get to them as as he finds them. But Cortez Mills, four-star. Nashawn Montgomery, four-star. Lewayne motion right now. Throw it to Lewayne. Throw it to Lewayne. Oh. That's up the seam, complete. Should be a new set of downs. By the way, chat, you know, I'm messing with y'all all day. I'm over here. I got the iPad in my hand. I'm reading y'all's messages, y'all's comments. Whatever y'all got to say to me, let me know. Y'all feel me? I'm showing love all day, man. Throw a like in there now, huh? Throw a like, man. If like you're feeling generous. Like the stream. Subscribe to Overtime. Do it all, man. We all showing love today. That was caught by Khalil Sterling. One, two, Crits are looking left. That's complete second inside down. the 20-yard line. Second bring down. up second down. Deshaun Green okay, asked in the chat, is the Trillion Boys going to bring out their mascots again? Second the kids? Down. The kids are the rappers. We'll, we'll, we'll see how much coach Josh Stupin has in the in the, in the bank account <laughs> to bring out those kids, you know? Yeah. They call them Trillion Boys for a reason. Me and Stupin got a powwow, man. He reached out to me. He's like, hey, bro, you know, we've never really got a chance just to just to connect and get to know each other, man. I'd, I'd like to chop it up. Oh, God! Oh, oh damn! Touchdown! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! What a throw, <laughs> but an even better catch. Dion DeBlanc. Boy, Dion, on four stars, on both seven points, head. double coverage. Um, both day head. That's a head tap right there. 
double hit too. Wow. 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 D, it felt like pretty good defense there too. Now, now I was there, just great defense, but even better offense, man. Again, seven points for a touchdown. You already know it's two points for a turnover on downs. We've had two of those. Seven points for a touchdown, and there was not a one-point gamble there. So oh. we'll stay at seven. 24K takes back over. Oh. And that's Courtney Crutchfield with his second catch. So Crutchfield is a four-star wideout, class of 2024. Arkansas commit. He's from Arkansas. Big boy, 6'2", 175, also hoops, also plays, also runs track. All-around athlete. Three-sport athlete, man. Did you, did you run track? Nope. I didn't because my football coach was the track coach, and he'd be trying to kill people during the offseason. So. Mm. I chose to stay away, man, and, you know, it, it, it worked out pretty well for me. Oh, throw that. Oh, so yep, yep, got a man yep, over pick. the middle. Oh, my God. Check oh, his gloves. My. Look, my God. God. Oh, my God. Bro, that man just stuck to his hands, bro. Jabari Flowers oh my only God. needs one. Smell the roses. Oh, my God. Oh, Miami's defense. Damn, they break the pinatas over here. Extending their lead. They brought an unbreakable pinata, y'all. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the pinata, but the catch. Oh. D, take another look here. Have you ever seen a pick like this? Man. That, he never look brought how that it's ball stuck. in. Just, uh. No need to regroup on the body, nothing. First down, Raw Miami. Ah. Jabari Flowers, remember the Damn. name. So I will I will say this right now, because I know the comments might be coming after me. We have Hilton Stubbs, Jabari Flowers, two DBs who are number nine. They're both wearing helmets. D. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give them both their credit because Hodson Stubbs is a four-star in class of 2025. Tom, can you uh, can you sort this out for us? I right, man. Our guy just got a, got a pick real quick. You only need one with that one? Huh? You only need one hand for that one? Hey, you know I only need one of the... You know what I'm saying? Where are they at? What did he say? <laughs> I had to come across that. you're the that. one from Florida here. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's my quarterback. So I know he was finna throw it. Just had to grab it out there real quick. Jump in the phone pit and do some raw jump. Hey, what do you mean that's your quarterback? That's my quarterback. We play for the same team. Oh, and you just picked off your boy. Yeah, that's my dog. That's my dog, though. Hey, what's his name? Why Tom, do they say that? Uh, why do they say that DBs don't have hands? I don't know. But this one do. I don't know. I don't know what they got to say about DBs. I hear you just got a Bama offer recently. Yeah. Ooh. How was that one? I mean, uh, it, was, it was nice. I talked to Coach Saban and just got it turned. But yeah, I, I like Bama a lot. Oh. Hey, I tease you with your body. Oh, oh. God, bro. Oh. Oh. All right, back to you guys. Today, man. Coleman. Raw looking raw today, man. Raw Miami is hitting their stride, and whatever was going on oh yesterday is goodness. behind them. Take another oh look. Goodness. D, look at this footwork oh, here. Strikes again. Snag, two feet. Oh, one foot in, mm. but wow, what a time. Put that in the bucket, bro. Mm. Oh, my God. Hey, you know what they call that catch? Willie Mays. Yo, he always Willie plays Mays. really well. Willie I Mays. I he get the ball in Oh, man. Hey, this is a new quarterback we've seen today. We were a new QB we've seen today. We were frying say to him yesterday. I don't even think we were frying him. I think we were just being honest about it. He, he yeah. didn't look great yesterday, and he is balling out here in their first game today. And D, this is the money drive. Can you talk Ooh. to me about that? Oh, goodness. Oh, money drive. Sorry, I just <laughs> – them boys ran into each other. Hit. Look, It looked like something, but money drive's easy. What it is is instead of using seven points, you get ten points if you score. Instead of usual three points for a pick, you get six. And instead of usual two for turnover on downs, you receive a foe. So it's a lot of money on a flow. Is you going to grab it or let it go? Hey, But I'm not a rapper. But I'm not a rapper. You're not a rapper? <laughs> Maybe sometimes. You're not a rapper? I got a few songs in the vault. Uh, not just that. I, I, what if I told you I, I got have a few songs a, What if I told you I have a few of his songs Yo, Day's in a band. Vault. They, I ain't gonna lie, they do. I, I sent them to I them. Am. We had I a little am. listening party the other yeah, night. Yeah, if you're lucky, you'll hear the uh, the, the D rapping. What I'm gonna do saxophone is, collab, you know? what I'm gonna do is take a page out of Trillion Book 
and I'm gonna walk out rapping with my team. Wow. <laughs> Imagine your port. <laughs> I'd be willing to hold down the booth by myself when you do that. But I think you have to go oh, better than 0-2 in the first oh, window man. to come out rapping, though, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Too early. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so, well, we'll talk about it after this play. Yeah. We got a big third down here. 24K chasing 17 right now. But a touchdown would make it a seven-point game. Big play in this game right now for 24K and Tramel Jones. Keep your eye on number 12, Courtney Crutchfield. He's He's been the go-to guy so far. Here comes blitz. the blitz. Get Throws it. it up. Do a Pivali pop. He is down. Set. Raw Miami is looking raw. Bro, I think Raw got their swag back. Like, the, the sidelines height. My swagger back. After Low Pro smacked him yesterday, I think yeah. it took a whole day to get it back, but it's here. Take another look. That is C.J. Mitchell who had the sack coming off the edge. And we're at 23 to Raw Miami. Hey, just a reminder, tomorrow is the Adidas Throwdown, a one-of-a-kind skills competition that we're going to have here in L.A. The stakes are high this weekend, but I think these guys are maybe even more so excited about the event tomorrow because there aren't too many events like this. We'll see some QBs, some wideouts, some trenchmen, some linemen. It's gonna be great, and I I heard D you might be hosting a little bit. Yeah, we got a little you know one on one event for some of the players out here. We had some teams pick a receiver and a DB, and we just duke it out, see who's the best squad. I can't wait for that, and then we are back again on Sunday for bracket play. I've seen some of the comments of people kind of flaming pool play. Get that out of here because if you win pool play, you get a buy on Sunday. Mm. It matters. It matters mm. a lot to these guys. It matters to us. And I know you're watching right now. So yes, sir. I know it matters to you, too. Damn, someone said the destroying curse is why pressure's on, too. Oh, so, okay, so, man, so, so, no curse, so, so talk to me. What's going on with pressure? Uh, I'm going to keep it 100. We suck today. We beat ourselves. We beat ourselves a lot, man. Um, I don't know. It's been tough, man. We're trying to figure out a lot of things. Get the chemistry. Ooh. Taking a shot too long. Uh, I don't know. We're trying to figure out a few right things, bro. It's Again, it's pool play, so. It don't really matter until tomorrow, but it does make our competition a lot tougher off the gate. So we just got to be better, bro. I know these kids, they got a lot of potential. They're talented kids. They do what they do, but it's, it's just, it's not coming together when it needs to. Do you think? We, we, stay, we stay in the game because Cali Power is the best team out of our group. It's the best team out of our group. And we, we held our own with them. And then last second, you know, we got to score. We got to win. Nothing. Do you, every game is close, bro. Do you think? And we see this a lot with seven on seven teams with so many guys coming in and out. Yeah, they might be three stars, four stars, five stars, the most talented dudes in the country. But do you think that's been the reason for the inconsistency? Yeah, yeah. and and if you know, every OT7 we had a new quarterback. So it's the leading, it's the plays, it's attitude. We make a mistake and we kind of implode on ourselves. Yep. Guys blame each other and things like that. So it's a lot of things, bro. Having a seven on seven team and, and being a good one. It's, it's hard having a seven on seven team. Being a good one is a lot harder. So how I got to show love and respect to all the teams out here doing their thing. Man. How the vibe's been off the field? The vibe's been cool, okay, man. Good, just, you good, know, good. We just got to be better on the field. We just got to play together, rally around each other, support each other. If someone makes a mistake, it's all good. Keep your head up. But you know, we want to blame each other and shit like that. Ooh. And that's not how you play football. It's a team sport, my boy. Team sport. Team sport, my boy. 23 to 4. Raw Miami ahead. We have just over four minutes left here in this game. We have about three more hours of action coming up. Next game is Trillion Boys versus DEFCON 1. Trillion Boys looked fantastic Sir, yesterday. Nah, they look good, man. I would do anything in my power to not hype them up even more than they need, but they look great yesterday. Nah, they they, they look team, great. Bro. They've they always are. been a good team. You yep. know, they're, I ain't gonna lie, they're one of the more entertaining teams and, and a lot of For sure. coach. Taking a shot deep. Wide oh. open. Disappointed, like, bro, you supposed to pin look my way. What was it? He supposed to been through that. Man, that's five minutes. Five Take minutes another left. look. There's got to be a blown yeah, coverage here. Let me see what the safety is. Yeah, oh, the safety came down. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it looked like the corner thought he had help is. over the top. Yeah. I don't know what their coverage was. 
coaches are pissed because down. they thought it uh, should have been a sack. They, they thought the QB had a lot of time there. Ah, yeah, just hey play, man, just these refs are doing a great job, man. <laughs> you can't blame it on the timing on the these clock, man. These refs, you, huh? these refs you're, you're done amazing, hell. man. You're soft as hell. They do so good, I might hire them to come on the road and rep my one-on-one. -on -one, so <laughs> now, I have a question. For those who are watching OT7 North in Baltimore, our linesman there was absolutely electric. Oh, yes. Just <laughs> yelling at the other refs. Did hey. you ever fly him out for one of your ones? Bro, he's still uh, fried. Unfortunately, I didn't. I tried to reach out to him, but I, I didn't know his contact or nothing, man. If you're the ref in Baltimore, yeah, hey, if you're the ref in hey, reach out to me, bro. D D's not going to respond. Hit me up, fam. D, D doesn't read his no, I'm just kidding. My DMs, but I ain't going to lie, my DMs flutter right now with my credit card fiasco. I've been going oh. through, so. If, just wait there, like a D? day or two, man, and then. D, what and happened there? So I put my jacket down yesterday. You know, I'm, I'm thinking it's in a safe place. It's by the broadcast booth. Nobody's supposed to be over here. My wallet's in the pocket. Next thing I know, later I'm coming looking for it, it's gone. Finesse took it from me. So I'm like, oh, did I lose it? I'm looking around the whole field trying to find it. Yeah. Nothing. And you were pretty calm about it. Bro, you know, I'm I was chill. telling you, I'm for chill. You. I'm like, I'm, I'm, the only thing that upset me is because my wallet got my ID in it. And for me to travel, mm -hmm. I don't live here. So for me to travel, I need my ID. You, you don't have clear? That don't matter. You need to show no. your ID sometimes. Go on. So anyways, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm going to lock my cars. But I'm like, nah, if it's stolen, somebody's going to try to swipe it. Two minutes later, swipe, 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 swipe. 25 minutes away, they cashing out Jordans, off-white fives, and essentials clothing, and all this, bro, like four bands ran up on my credit card, bro. So I ended up finding out who it was, investigator mode, and uh, dude returned still, my things. Dude was still wearing his uh, man, all, he was all wearing stuff that, from the bro, field. He was a photographer at this event. So this man was wearing his lanyard still. That boy went straight from here, straight to the shoe store, took his family out to dinner, all this stuff. So, you know, I, I, I got my cards back. You got your cards, you got your wallet. I, I told him he got to give me all that stuff that he bought. There was a lot of shoes, size 12s. And I think I'm just going to do a giveaway with it, man. So, you know, hey, hey, here's a charity <laughs> moment. The, ki the king of giving back. Up the middle. At the middle, and, she and he is down inside the I wasn't tent. Looking. I think he probably went outside the I, I was just wondering the same thing. I was just upset thing. about my, my card. You know, it, it reopened an uh, old wound for me, but it's all good. I was enjoying following your Instagram stories. Boy, what? I was mad, bro. And I'm petty, bro. See, the thing about me, I'm not a violent guy. Like, anybody would... I had a lot of messages saying, bro, you need to beat his ass. You need to, you feel me? Nah. I'm not a violent guy, bro. I'm going to just let the world and karma... In the internet, deal with it. <laughs> in the yeah. internet. The I'm old, not violent, so I'll let the, the internet the equalizer. He's like, bro, can you take the post down? <laughs> F no. Hell no. Nah. He's going to suffer a little bit. And I blocked out his ad, and they're still finding him. It's crazy. Mm. Investigators, man, on the internet. With time running out, Raw Miami. Are, are they calling a timeout? They are they calling are. a timeout. Timeout. Timeout on the Nine. Field. Eight. I don't know. All right, 23-11. You know, D, you mentioned it earlier. I think we were we weren't harsh on him. We were very honest about how Beckham Kritza looked yesterday. He didn't look good. Probably hurt us. He's like, oh, I got to bounce back. And today, he looked great. He looked like the four-star that he is. He scared me at first, bro, because he threw one of those into the phone booth. But then he, he did his thing after. He looked great today. He did his thing after. Spread of the round. Believe trying to get one before over five can do different it? guys had receptions. Yes, they can. Tack on one more. Yeah, yeah, Weezy, 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 baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Piss one out alive. Uh, to the pit. Little walk off tutty for them boys, man. Okay, they're all looking raw today. They looking like a whole new team today, man. 24K has looked very good so far. And Raw Miami, I mean, they just completely handled a, a great opponent. So this will be interesting to see how Raw Miami continues to play the rest of the day. Thank you for tuning in with us. 30 to 11 is your final Raw, Mi Raw Miami over 24K. Stick with us. A couple more hours of action today. Day two of Pool Play OT7 Championship. For Tom, for D, I'm Overtime Day. Don't go anywhere.
I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. The OT7, we got a little break in the action, all right? We got another game coming up in a second. I'm Overtime Tom, I'm here with Sniper. We, we just watched 24K. Lose to Raw Miami. Raw finally gets a win. What do you think about the game just now? Sad, man. I really wanted 24K to win. They won some games yesterday. Why? Because people like you are always surprised when they win, and I want them to go far. I like picking the underdog, and they, and they just lost to Raw Miami. Yeah, I mean, I feel you, but 24K is just not that good. They are good. They, they are good. They don't even have their best receiver. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he ran away. He was like, I don't want to be on this team anymore. Now, Raw Miami, they finally get a little, little bit of swag back. They win a game. It was the best play of the day, though, was that one-handed catch by their defensive back. Just snagged it out of the air. I don't know. I interviewed him after. I don't know what he was talking about. Is that better than Odell catch? No. Okay. I mean, you just got to act, because... They're both good catches. I just want to know what, what Tom thinks. His teammate, Luane McCoy, had a better catch also in a different division. But that was an incredible snag. He also just got an Alabama offer a couple of days ago. He, he kind of acted like it was no big deal. But it, the funny thing is, is that defensive back, his quarterback, his high school quarterback, was a 24K quarterback. So he picked off his boy. Wow. It's, it's no more better bragging rights than picking off somebody you went to high school with. It's no, be no better. I don't get why these guys don't play on the same team if they go to the same high school. Hey, man, you know, it's a lot of politics. You know, you never really know what goes on to it. I, get, I think we know what goes into it, but, you, you, you know, you never really know what goes into picking these teams. It's tough. Awesome. Well, Raw finally gets a win. Now, their heated rival, yeah. Trillion Boys, we're about to see them take on DEFCON. Trillion Boys went 2-0 yesterday. You actually like what they're doing finally? Hey, man, I'm loving the jerseys. I'm loving the swag. I think it's something about the little kids screaming. Because, listen, if you didn't watch the North Division, that's the same thing Level 82 had, and they won the whole thing. Yesterday, Trillion had 100 little kids over there, and they won every game. No kids. Yep. So they might not win. I don't know. No kids are chilling today, but we do have DEF CON out here. They've been amazing all OT7. They actually won the divisional down in Florida. We're going to check out a little feature on them, how they got here. I said, I've got DEF CON. I'm Mike Alejandro off the rip. Our team's identity this year is that, you know, we play with a high level of energy, big plays, we play for each other, we execute the game plan. Anybody that's had the opportunity to go against us understands that, you know, we're gonna play football and we're a bunch of dogs. Oh my God, did you see that? Get off me, boy. We don't necessarily, you know, look at just star rankings. We want football players that, could, that are gonna play a certain brand of football when we step on the field. And I know that when we play to that level of football, there's nobody in the country that can beat us. And that's no disrespect to, you know, the teams that are participating in this tournament. I got nothing but, you know, a lot of love and respect for a lot of those programs and, and coaches. But we're coming to win this thing. And I know that the 11 other teams has this team circled as the team to beat. And we get to, you know, work towards a goal and, and have an opportunity to, to achieve that goal uh, is going to be really rewarding for us. And it'll be the first time in our program's history in our fifth year of winning a national. We've had multiple opportunities where we fell just short by our own mistake uh and here we are again with an opportunity to win one and i think that would be most memorable for us is to, to staple that national for our varsity program for defcon one d-e-f-c-o-n-1 defcon one you know the name we're here again and it's time to finish That's a little bit about DEFCON. They're an awesome team. I will say, I don't know if he's in the bathroom or something. We don't see Micah Alejado out here warming up right now. If he's not playing, they're going to lose the Chilean? 100%. You, you need him, Brad. Both Micahs are two of the best quarterbacks we got here at the OT7. I think maybe Chilean Boys, Micah's old team, maybe he just doesn't want to play against them. But we're going to find out a lot. It's me, Chilean Boys versus DEFCON. A great matchup. I'm going to throw it over to my boys, D and Day from Tom and Sniper. See you in a little bit.
Yo, 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 what is going on? We are back in sunny Los Angeles for the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. Second day of pool play continuing, and we had the Trillion Boys versus DEFCON 1. Pool play day one was great yesterday. Day two has been even better. We had four amazing divisionals to get here, and I could not be more excited for this one alongside my brother destroying yes, i'm over sir. time day how you doing d doing amazing man i'm excited for this matchup because both teams combined 16 and 3 in pool play this season Woo! both teams got ridiculous wide receivers so it comes down to the qb play there go to horn it's time to play ball trilly boys versus defcon oh my oh, god oh okay. boy oh my goodness off the rip. <laughs> don't, oh even, don't even get settled in. Donovan Alukbode, the oh four-star, class of 2025. Just Alukbode is a dog. Ridiculous hands. D, take another look. <laughs> Stuck. Sticky. I don't need to. Wow. I don't need to. You follow, you follow that dude, uh, Eric Lottery? No. Who on that? TikTok? No, nah, I don't either. Okay, never mind. Eric Lottery. And, anyways, <laughs> if you're you watching, you know, he Ooh. does he does these funny golf videos where anytime someone hits him on golf? No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Is it like a hood golfer? Yes. Oh, yes. I've seen it. I've and, seen and, it on Instagram. And actually. anytime he hits the ball, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even do it. He's, he's funny. Oh, That's what man. you sounded like right there. Hey, a lot more black folks starting to golf, man. I love it. I love to see it. I'm gonna get out there soon. You feel me? I'm so bad at golf. I Tom, too, Tom's pretty good. Tom's you gotta learn. Good. You gotta learn, bro. You I know. Me? I know. I'm about to hire a trainer, like a golf instructor, to get me right. Instead of wasting my time trying to swing and learn you on my own. You pay me. I don't know, man. I don't know. You gotta be nice to me a couple more, a couple more games. Man, you're doing a great job so far today. Great. Thanks, brother. Great you too, man. <laughs> oh no, yeah, you're doing okay. Hey, these refs are doing amazing too. These refs are doing amazing. These refs doing good, man. Do you still, do you still? I'm glazing the rest today. <laughs> what you was about to say? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> two nothing. <laughs> Defcon. We were getting carried away talking about nonsense. I was gonna say you're sucking up. That's all. No Mike Alejandro. Defcon. No Mike so Alejandro. I heard, I heard that uh, he go to Bishop Gorman, right? He does. I heard that the Bishop Gorman coach don't play about missing practice. So he had to fly home last night, practice today, and then fly back today. So maybe he's on his way. Is that Mikey know. Eugenio too, probably? I'll ask Stupid about Mike Alejandro. Yeah. I feel like he might know even though he doesn't coach him anymore. Yeah. So their QB here. Number 100 is number 100. Tom, I don't have a number 100 I'll on my roster. I'll get a name. Do your best. 100. <laughs> Defcon just these numbers. Yesterday had 561, 305, triple 305. low, 100. So we had four divisionals to get here. If you win your divisional, you punch your ticket to the OT7 Championship here in LA. We had four divisionals, three winners because Low Pro won twice. Defcon won OT7 East in Orlando. Trillion Boys, they got an at-large bid to get here. So that's how both teams got here. Both had pretty good springs. So far, both these teams look good. Pretty yeah, good pool do. play. They do, they do, they do. Trillion's been very impressive. We have a 22-minute running clock. Oh. Cross his body. And I Mr. believe Rex. that will be a new set of downs. Roll out right and throw Fellas, it. I got bad news. <laughs> Coach don't know his quarterback's name. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. He said, he said uh, um, come find me after this draft. Oh. <laughs> Anything but that. Anything but that. <laughs> so you see, you see the, you see the standings of, uh, of group two on your screen. Trillion Boys went two and zero. Defcon went one and one. <laughs> Man, that that was just about the worst answer a coach could give. What's your quarterback's Call name? Me after. Call me after. A he me said a Michael or Micah, and I was like, dude, I know Mike Alejado. And then he was like, oh, uh, come find me after. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> that was a good ball. Okay, okay, okay. That's Kamari Williams, the four-star class of 2025 in Delray, Florida, with the catch. D, he's got offers to Auburn, FSU. Mm. UF mm. and Louisville. Mm. Where are you going? I'm in Tallahassee, Florida State. Yeah. I'm with the Seminoles. I've called enough of these games with you that I, that I knew you were going to start. I just like Florida State, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Seminole over Gator. Is ACC football kind of mid, though? Everything but wow. the, uh, I, there, I said it. Kinda mid. There, I said it. Oh, Throwing it up. Oh, good girl. Ooh. Great ball there from the QB. Uh, TB, 
TBA to be announced, intended for, well, let's take another look right here. Intended for Wade and Charles. Ooh, he almost came up with that. Good coverage by Tijon Lee. Oh, false start, false start, false start. Man, what a good call, ref. Yeah. I've so, seen it from over here. So, and you see the Trillion Boy, well, not on your screen yet. Uh, Trillion Boy has grabbed the stool. They were starting to run back. In previous OT7s, a false start was a loss of down. We said that that's maybe a little too harsh. Let's just make it a five-yard penalty. It, unless you're on the 40-yard line, if you start the drive with a false start, that's a loss of down. But now, It'll be third and a little bit longer for DEFCON. Let's see what they do third here on third down. Here comes a blitz. Throws it over the middle. It off, but <laughs> Bring us the T. And Got he it did off, not it enough. get enough yardage. Turnover on downs. And we have a 2-2 two, two game. Tom, what's going on? Hey, thanks, Dan. I'm down here with Coach Steve. We got a 2 2 ball game. Not great. A little bit sleepy here to start. Let's get these cameras off the field and let our offense cook. <laughs> now, you're talking about your offense, but I just saw you yelling on the defensive side. The other coach talking a little trash to you? Oh, he's scared that we took Micah for the first two, but you know what I'm saying? Nobody signed a contract. Everyone can play with anyone. Go! Get up field, Don! Go, go, go. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Woo! Knife upfield. IMG Academy, Donovan, class 25. I can't help but notice that Mike Alhado's not out here today. He'll be here. Uh, you know, we communicated. If we wanted him on Trillion Boys, we could have. It was out of respect for actually the other coach. I was like, you know, he kind of initiated that relationship for me. So I'm a respectful guy. What do you think about Coach's hair? Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it to myself. <laughs> all right, last question. Last question. You got raw in a little bit. You worried about them at all? They finally got a win today. Hell no. Nah. Nah. Worried. Turn around. Can I see the jersey? All right, we got a Coach Stupin jersey. Coach Stupin winning games out here. Good luck, Coach. Go shop, shop. link in bio. <laughs> okay, back to you guys. Donovan Alugbode, who had that catch before, he scored five TDs earlier ah. at one OT7. Jesus Not Christ. Bad. Not in bad. one game? In one game. Oh, my God. Oh, actually, it was pool play. Oh, I was about can to I, say, I, but can, one can, game. Can, can I take God. that back? Can I take that back? God. <laughs> Five there, Dan. That's crazy. He did a team by himself. Great balls away. Do they even get five drives in, <laughs> in seven on seven? I mean, you gotta have a good defense. Yeah, you gotta have a good defense. Yeah. That was caught there by Philip Bell, four star in the class of 2025. The number six wide receiver in the class of 2025. Mission Hills, California. Make sure he gets across that ten if he gets there. Choosing between Ohio State and Notre Dame amongst some other teams so far. Ooh, what you picking out of that? Ohio State. Okay. okay. Ohio okay. State. I feel like you either grew up loving Notre Dame or you don't really like Notre yeah. Dame. You know? Yeah, I don't. It, I'm indifferent about them, but I don't know. I'm. It's not like Here an comes attractive school. To me. Throws it up. Not on the same page. Mm. And we have another That's turnover on down the defensive two. battle. Yeah, yeah, no, no. struggling to score touchdowns today. Defense is straps right now. Is it straps defense or is not a great offense? Well, I would say we've seen a couple couple offensive, offensive miscommunications. I've, we've seen a couple great plays by defenders. I think eventually you just got to start First taking some more shots. Definitely. Yeah, now you got to. You got to win. It is pretty windy out here, though. Triple O. Triple O. That is, I believe, Robert Ortega Jr. I'm saying I believe because they didn't put anyone with triple zero on their roster. <laughs> But he's number zero. So that boy got I, enough I, room on his back to have three digits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob, Rob, feel free to press D about that after tomorrow once you hear the broadcast. Hey, feel free to press him. I'm not, I, I, I won't help I wonder D. if he picked the number or they just gave it to him. 
I don't, I don't know. That's, That's crazy. <laughs> it's really three zeros. I mean, really. you were 11. Were... <laughs> you were 11. Were you not hitting back day or what? 11, nah. 11 going to fit regardless. Look at 11 right there. It's right there, you know? So the triple O, you got to have a little extra room on the canvas for that one. See, I didn't see you in the gym this morning, man. I know. I know. I was too worried trying to chase the perpetrator. Oh, that's true. The that's perpetrator. True. Yeah. The perpetrator. His belongings are back. Big third down here. Triple O. Triple zero. Triple O. Doing enough for the first down. New set of downs for DEFCON 1. And they are doing enough without their main QB. Tom, have you found That's out this QB's name yet? No. <laughs> you had, you after had this one job. Possession, I'm going to talk to Coach, OK? You had one job. <laughs> Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed dropping back. Throwing in the flat. That is complete oh, inside man. the box. Oh, my nice geez. throw. Better catch. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you know who I am going to talk to? This ref over here, he's so funny. He's got to remind me of the That's the one that tried to jump in his mic. Hey, tell him how good of a job I think he's doing today. Tell him D says he's doing a great job today. Hello, sir. How are you? We, we just want to say, destroying and myself, we want to say you're doing a great job. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all doing a great job showing how smart you are. I love uh, OT7. Good job out here. The white hat, though, he sucks. Man, don't talk about my boy. I ain't say that. Why do you keep going in on my family? It wasn't me, it was destroying. destroying. It wasn't destroying. Cap! Yeah. Cap! Yeah, they have a, dis they have a disagreement. Uh, Cap! What's happening, baby? You what's up? Someone talk to me. What's wrong? Let me, let me talk to me, baby. Okay. <laughs> it's him! <laughs> oh, they're saying, actually, they are saying this should have been a touchdown. No, nah, no, nah, nah, I'm a referee. Nah, nah. The Come game on, tell me, get down here. I, I let them, let my ref, and I'm gonna let them uh, uh, broadcast. You know what I'm saying? I, you all stay in my lane. You know what I mean? Yeah, but OT7, <laughs> we like points. Yeah, I did that, but do y'all want it done the right way, though? Nope. I got this. Say less. Say less. Say less. They're looking over this last grab and they're reviewing to see if it was a catch or a drop. Uh, it looked like a catch to me. I love that guy. I feel like they stopped the game so we could talk to the ref. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with it. <laughs> that was caught by Kobe Howard, the four star class of 2025 from Cole. Throwing right in and out cool. of the hands. Now bring up second down. Should have caught that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, nah, no. Two words. Two words. D, what's going on in the chat right now? You're, you're holding the iPad. Yeah, I'm just reading a couple things. Deshaun Green asked if Lopo be DevCon. Kyan Al Azim as pressure still plays on Sunday, right? Yup. Josh Zia then Lex CL says stop lying to him. I don't know if he's talking about who or the ref, but I think the refs are doing great, man. <laughs> They're doing amazing, man. Um, yeah, you got a little trickery coming here, fellas. Action right now. All right, let's check it out. Faking two handoffs. Ooh. Touchdown. Defcon. Oh. Oh. Terrell Short oh. Jr. Oh. I don't know. One hand grabs that we had today already. Three? That that one felt necessary. Yeah, no, nah, I know. Let's take another look here. You be almost, you feel me? <laughs> Woo. Oh. Sometimes it's the easiest throws when you have to overthink it. Mm hmm We gon we gonna say Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. Terrell, Terrell Short Jr. Who used to play with SFE with a touchdown there. Hey, just a reminder. We got a couple more hours of pool play today. We have bracket play on Sunday, but tomorrow that's incomplete. Tomorrow we have the Adidas Throwdown, a one-of-a-kind skills competition. QBs, wideouts, linemen. Toss it in. I'm Toss excited it in. to see the trenches. Got some destroying ones, started. possibly. Ooh, possibly. Hey, hey, you gotta tune in to find out. Tune in to find out. It all starts tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. A little Saturday night football. Can't wait for that. Make sure to tune in. Adidas Throwdown. All before bracket play on Sunday. OT7 championship. What a great play design. So, you want to ask down, Coach uh, about the quarterback now? Yeah, yeah, ask him what's his name. You have to get it done before the game ends. Coach, back out, Coach, back out. You need to give me a great answer. Right. What's up with the quarterback situation? Uh, Micah's flight got delayed. He's on his way. So who, who's in there? Michael, uh, Michael's in the game right now. 
He's, a, he's one of our younger guys that's been in the program. Uh, he's a South Florida kid, local guy. Uh, we've been very impressed watching him from afar this seven on seven season. He didn't play with us during the year, uh, but he lit it up for his team, and you know we we're really excited to have him. He, he got a great opportunity, so everything happens for a reason. Uh, he's had a great start. Uh, he's a little shaky, but being there's a huge stage, first time for him to be here. Uh, I'm very happy for what he's done so far. Steuben said he would have gotten all hot to a private jet. <laughs> His, uh, his bankroll is a little bit longer, and I don't pay my players. God Ooh. damn, man. Every damn. time. Every time. He doesn't know his quarterback's name, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Decorian Moore with the touchdown for Chilean boys. That boy throwing shots. What? I don't pay my players. Darius Curry, the three-star, to Decorian Moore, the five-star. And finally, we have some offense here in this ballgame. D is, I'm surprised D is, just money D is just focused on this Snickers over here. Yeah. <laughs> crumpling up the wrapper. Taking a shot deep. Fluttering in the air. Intercepted. What a catch by oh Dijon Lee. And to the pit they go. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Where are those Snickers? Oh, I don't, I mean, I don't know where the bag went. Take another look. Went deep down the sideline. It's pretty windy out of here. Ball fluttered in the air. That was a, a came down with that? he was focused. That was oh Dijon Lee, the four-star oh DB from Mission Viejo. Number four <laughs> cornerback in the class of 2025. Got like offers he, to USC, Boomer Sooner, Washington. He jumped a little early, missed time to jump, but the focus and the hands. Kind of over here acting like that was no big deal. No, nah, that was fine. That was <laughs> a lot fine. of traffic, a lot of concentration bringing that one down. I gotta give it to him. Hey, okay, young Winnie. Second down, second down. That's in the what? That's Winston Watkins, four star wide out, Colorado commit. D, what impresses you most about Winnie Watkins? Um, he's a good kid. You know, we'd be chopping up on FaceTime here and there. Uh, Comes from a good background, you know. He he doing it for his mama and his family, but he's a shifty, hard worker, just great kid overall. And he's in the bloodline of well-known Sammy Watkins. He is. So you know, maybe maybe he's trying to follow his footsteps. From Florida, from Bradenton, Florida, used to play with SFV, now playing with Trillion Boys. And we have a 12-11 ball game. Just a reminder, seven points for a touchdown, two points, turnover on downs, three points for a pick. So Trillion Boys with the lead after that Dijon Lee interception. Every time you say his name, I think you're gonna say mustard. Mustard, I know. Dijon, and they were in a yellow uniform. Oh, I, I thought about it. I should have said it Dijon honestly. Dijon Mustard. Yo, I'm next to Stupin's dad, and he's crazier than Stupin. Where's Stupin's dad at? He's right next to me. Down here on sideline. In the gray? Yeah. Oh, okay, that boy look rich over there. Oh, <laughs> facts. <laughs> Is that Jay's on his feet? I can't tell from here. Yep. <laughs> No, I, do, I think uh, those I think are Adidas, actually, yeah. D, yeah. Oh, they true, look true, like true. some Ultra Boosts. Yeah, I true, think so. True, true, true. Those are fire. So yeah, we didn't fire. get a chance to talk about their QB, Darius Curry, very much. Three-star in the class of 2024. Colorado State commit from Long Beach, California. He looked fantastic yesterday. Really came in here as one of the lesser-known QBs, but he looked every bit the part yesterday. Looking good again today. Good grab. Good grab. Third down. Strong hands. Take another look here. Good grab. Boys playing physical out here. Well, you got a trick play coming, Coach? Let's see what Trilly does. Play trilly, here. Trilly. Trilly, Trilly. Drop a trillion in the chat, y'all. Let me know if y'all think they, this game. they, they Sorry, gonna D. get the first down. Are they scoring or what? Here comes oh, the blitz. Throws it over the middle, and they said oh, he was down. Mm. I don't know, Tom. I don't know about that. What do you think? We well, gotta see the replay. Can we see the replay? Stay calm. Happen to us all year, and we'll be fine. Wait up. So it'll be 13-12. Defcon gets the ball back. Let's take another look. Hey, 
Oh, he yeah, was touched. Yeah, he got gut. He got gut. He was touched. Bro, these refs is on point, fam. They're good. They're Why good. would we ever doubt them? They're just, yo, I just instigated that so hard. <laughs> Why would we I was ever like, you should check our replay, them. though, right, Josh? Why would we ever doubt the referee's judgment? True, true, true. Hey, shout out to the shout out to the production truck who heard me asking D about the Snickers and just coming through big. Except D got the little mini one. I got the big boy. Didn't right you guys here. just have a hundred pop right in front of you during that pinata oh, break? Mind your Snickers own business, Tom. I see you guys eating on the big screen now. Snickers, even better. Satisfies. All right, D, you're calling the next play. I'm second taking down, a bite of this. And it yes, takes who me about to take a bite? Nope. Yeah. All right, two and first. Oh God. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Snickers ASMR. I mean, I can taste dice. the Snickers from here. We're going to high school now. We're playing high school. That's pretty good. You got a little bit of Snickers on now. your face, man. Sam Boy missed his whole mouth. Right Saving it for later. Defense, you good too. We better now? We go? Are you good? Are you good? good? You know, good luck. I got you, fam. Good luck. Got you. you know, a lot of people ain't gonna tell you if you got something on your face, bro. Friends who don't tell you, here's the blitz. Friends who don't tell you. It's the worst type of people, man. Those aren't friends. If they won't even tell you that, then what else is they keeping from you? If you got something in your teeth, you got something on your face, yeah. Anymore? Bad friends. Bad friends. They Big brought the third. blitz on second. Big third down in this game right here. Get a stop! A stop here will give Trillion points, uh, Trillion boys the lead Big and the ball. Down. Big third down. Let's see what Defcon dials up here on third down. This is the game. They get a first down, they can bleed the clock. They get a turnover on downs, then Trilly take, Trilly takes the lead. So, looking left, goes incomplete. Uh, what a play! play. And the Trillion boys will get the ball and get the lead, and that should do it. Looking really Trilly boys. Man to man. Mm, take another look. A little wobbly. Yeah, he might got to throw that ball earlier, too. Devin Sanchez, the five star in the class of 2025. If you thought that play looked good, it's because he's the number one DB in the class of 2025. Number one DB. I keep hearing his name. Trilly Boy's looking good in pool play right Has now. Has offers to Ohio State, Penn State, A&M, you name it. He's got an offer there for good reason. And that, and that was the game-winning play right there. Trillion Boys, Trillion boys remain undefeated in one, pool play 13. here at the OT7 TV Championship 14. presented by Adidas. Trillion Boys the looking every bit the, the part, D. Now nah, they looking good, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like they say, it's really Trilly. We're here live it's been break. very Trilly OT7 today, man. It has quite season. Trilly today. It has indeed been quite chilly. It's indeed quite chilly today. Trillion boys win this one 14 to 13. We are carrying on with a couple more hours of action, including Low Pro and SFE coming up next. Day two of pool play here in beautiful Los Angeles. Marches on for Tom, for D. I'm over Tom Day. Do not go anywhere. We got great action all day. Stick with us. All right, Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're gonna pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you gotta make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. All right. Can you guys see us? How's it going? <laughs> we got a beautiful field out here, beautiful OT7 out here in California. I'm Overtime Tom here with Sniper. We got SFE walking out right now. We're going to talk about them in a little bit, but we just watched Trillion Boys. And now they're still undefeated, 3-0. What do you think about them out without here? Without the kids, man. They're still undefeated without the kids. I thought that was their mojo. 
They shut me up, and they beat a really good team in DEF CON. As you know, they're divisional winners. They proven that they want to be here, that they're supposed to be here. That's a tough win they actually got. It was a, it was a close game. Yeah, I, you know, I think as great of a win as that was for Chilean boys, it's hard to measure it because DEF CON was missing Mike Alejado. They did have a good quarterback step in there, but that last throw there, Devin Sanchez, number one DB in the country, broke it up. Talk to me a little about Devin Sanchez being such a great defender. Was that a bad play by the offense? Was that him? Like, what do you, what do you kind of think about it? I'm going to be honest, man. And, um, I just don't feel like DEFCON came out with that dog. Maybe it was because if they didn't have that quarterback. Imagine how much confidence or how much life that suck out of you coming out without your guy. That's not a guy you can easily replace. Like, Micah is one of the best QBs we have at the OT7. I think that played a part more than that. You be do you believe in Trillion boys? I mean, I have to at this point. They, they win it. And, and, and they've beaten a lot of good teams. I, I do believe in Trillion. I do. I, I do too, honestly. Also, right now we're going to get Low Pro versus SFE. Low Pro just came out in brand new uniforms. Yeah. Looking dope. Mikey Eugenio is not out here either. Him and Mike Alejado are both coming back from Bishop Gorman practice. I'm, I assume they'll be back soon. SFE had a tough day yesterday. Low Pro going to smack them around. I'm going with Low Pro. I'm not sure about these jerseys, though. I, I hope it don't throw their feng shui off because they're a really good team. I know. Um, let me tell you, you know what I'm not sure about? I'm not sure about D and Day, but we're going to go toss it to them because they got a game to do. Like Destroying an overtime day from Thomas Sniper. Have a good game, just, fellas. Just the worst. Just the worst guys I've ever. Just the worst. Wait, is he looking at me? How do you do? Welcome back to the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We are here in gorgeous Los Angeles, California. As day two of pool play marches on, we have a great matchup right now. Low Pro and SME. Low Pro, the two-time OT7 divisional champs versus OT7 season one champs and SFE alongside Tom and D. I'm overtime day. D, you just heard the horn. Yes, we are ready sir. to go right off the rip. Ball. How are you doing? Low pro versus SFE. I don't even got to say much. Oh, I don't know if he was touched. Pass Actually, please. the refs made the call. So we got to respect it. If you've been tuning <laughs> in to the broadcast down, all day, down. you know that D. The, the zebra's D, like D, scared of him, man. D got jumped by the refs this morning. To jump me this morning <laughs> so now he's only saying nice things about the zebras. Dang, QB Nick shining. So, <laughs> so low pro. Starting with the ball here. First down, first down. Let's back up a little bit. This is how we got here. So SFE won OT7 season down. one. 2022. We had four divisionals. And Lopro, who played in OT7 season one, but was really the Cinderella story. One. Season two, two has come out and done nothing but dominate. And right there off the rip, we go. Just uh, can't even three finish plays. the introduction. Three, got some touch three plays is all the time. Andre Porter. Hey man, these jerseys, I don't know about these jerseys. Sniper like Jones, Sniper, 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 Sniper Jones might have been right about that. They just put a t-shirt on. Take just threw a t-shirt on. Yeah. Andre yeah. Porter sends Low Pro up 7-0. So Low Pro is without their quarterback for this one, Mike Eugenio. But they have a two QB system with Ty McCutcheon, who mm, nah, you said has been, been really look, impressive. Bro, he's just three throws, all he needs to get in the end zone. <laughs> yeah, what's up with Low Pro? Oh, they scratched out the W in low. Uh -huh. That's clever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but hey, it don't matter. Again, it. we can't judge them. It don't matter. They Two. call them short. Three. They say they low prospects, but them boys are winning back to backs and falling out right now. So the uniforms don't matter. So they don't get it down regardless. On paper, this could not be more of a David versus Goliath. SFE almost entirely compromised to four and five stars. You look up and down the roster, almost all these dudes are over six feet tall, four and five stars. SFE did not pick up a single win yesterday, though. They did not mm. look great. Mm. And Low Pro has done nothing but win mm. the entire spring. They go up tempo. A lot of them play high school ball together, whether it's in Vegas or Hawaii. And they have chemistry that has, has been really the difference for them versus all the other teams they play. Oh, so we got third down, third down. Third down. Third down, right here. Up. SFE, third down. They, you feel me? They're already knocking against the turnover. So let's see. Let's see what they do. Seven third points down. for a SFE touchdown. Pro, two for a turnover on downs. SFE three for a pick. Live. This is a big play early. You got to go to Julio Jones, man. 
So, D. You gotta for, go to Julio Jones. For those yeah. who do not know who you're referring to. Jeremiah. Jeremiah OSU commit. Jeremiah Smith, number four. But right now, they go direct snap. Time's running out. Oh throws God, it up. That boy's not. <laughs> <and laughs> D. Oh, my God. French had the direct snap, the five star, and with time running out, he probably should have just taken the sack. Yeah, he, <laughs> he plays wide receiver for a no reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, not much cooking here. That was not it, bro. Tom, what do you think of that play call on third down? Hey, fellas, enough about that. Check out this play calling. Mikey Eugenio and his dad are not here, so guess who's calling the plays? Ty McCutcheon, the quarterback, he's calling his home plays. I love it. Watch him on this on this next play. Oh, you might Taking not even need shot. another one. No way. Oh. Oh. Bro, watch, watch Ty on this play. Like he's going to be giving the signals for everything. It seemed like he slowed down on that. I feel like he run, wasn't running as hard as... He throttled a little bit, man. The fact that these guys do not have numbers on the back of their jerseys is is not making me too happy. <laughs> <laughs> Ty McCutcheon, though, I make sure you offensive coordinator, OC QB. He's the top QB in Hawaii, class of 2024. He's so sick. He's oh, yeah, a he three-star from calling. Honolulu. And I love watching a QB orchestrate One. the offense in seven on seven. Two. You don't see that often, All the way. which you should. Nice, 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 nice. Third down, yeah, third down. The QB led third coaching Come system. back a little bit. Quarterback, come back a little bit with that. There you go. Okay, ref, talk to him. We got three. It might be a little hard to uh, to say who catches it for low pro when they do not have any numbers on their jerseys. We will do our best. We know they, they, uh, One. they run it up pretty quickly. Two. So let's see. McCutcheon third. here on third down, throwing left. Complete flag. for the first down, but we have a flag, flag on, the on the play. Coming from the secondary, it looks like it'll be holding on the defense. That'll be declined and a new the set of downs. He declined first down. For the offense. 10-0 SFE lead, I mean, low pro lead right now. D, on, on this SFE defense, they have a lot of star power. Oh a lot goodness. of guys who should be able to pretty easily cover the shorter wide receivers for mm -hmm. low pro. Who are some of these DBs that stand out for you for SFE? See, Mario Buford, full star, 2024, go, go. Nebraska, Oregon, and Arizona offers. We got Dylan Platt, Jamari Howard, Raymond Moe. Man, they got five power all over. Colin Hurley. Nah, that's a, a quarterback. I'm sure I can't read today. <laughs> they got a lot of firepower, right? They put a column with like the stars on this paper for us. There's a lot of foes and a lot of fives, man. Over the middle, incomplete, no flag. Okay, okay, okay. I'll oh, bring up a like third a down. Second Both star DB. D, one guy who you did not mention is Jason Mitchell, number one in the secondary for Ohio State. He will be at the top of your screen coming up. He is a four-star class of 2024. USC, LSU offers from Bellflower, California. Probably follow him on Instagram, over 100,000 followers. He's a great dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, and so Low sick. Pro not good is up big again. We are not even seven minutes into this game. And Low Pro is up 17-0 in the blink of an eye. No pro is just so impressive, bro. It's like almost not fair at this point. Mikey Eugenio not here. Ty McCutcheon does not skip a beat whatsoever. It's not fair. But either way, when he, when he is here, they run a 2QB system. So if anything, this just gives them more reps to get the momentum going. Exactly. They normally go switching off drive after drive between McCutcheon and Eugenio. McCutcheon handling it easily. Tom, what's going on? Once. Thanks, Day. Hey, I'm down Two. here with Ty McCutcheon. Uh, you're you're doing everything. Do I see you calling plays out there? What happened? Yeah, we calling plays right now. Coach John running late, so I got to lead the team. So what's the what's the strategy there? You're not you're not even like I would just go deep every time. But what are you thinking about when you're out there? Shoot, first game is to take it easy. You know, play lightly. Just take what they give us and drive it down the field. Have you ever done this before? Like called your own plays for a game? Oh yeah, all the time at practice back home, Coach John makes me call the plays so I can get used to it. <laughs> That's awesome. Now I gotta ask about these new uniforms. What's the deal here? Oh yeah, we got new uniforms for every day, so be ready. Two on your but box, two on your tough. box. These are tough, like UCLA joints, I like it. Yeah, you look cool, but your teammates are in a t-shirt. Can I With ask no you, numbers. why is the W no you crossed out? Hey, all the way. They don't got respect for us. It's L-O, bro, not L. Right. So they made you the wrong one. Yeah, but it's all right. 
Relax, Can we, can we blame relax, someone? Relax. Is this a discount? Quarterback team, class of delivery. We don't blame nobody. Smith. Yeah. Okay, I, gotta, I can't lie, though. You guys have no numbers on your back. So it's really making it hard for us. Shoot, I didn't this realize This is tag. That. Relax, all right? One team, yeah. we one family. Should Ty be your offensive coordinator going forward? Of course. He, he, he's always been. He's always been, man. Low pro, the best team I think I've ever seen. Back to you guys. So did they print low pro on accident? Or yes, it was on an purpose? Accident. And they an cross out no, the W to... Two. Three. Whoa. Oh, they... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. You got a first down. First down. Uh, Jeremiah Smith. Five-star wide out. Ohio Smith. State commit from Opalaka. Whenever I say Julio Jones, y'all know who I'm talking about. D, what impresses you most about him? Because... One, the... The receiver frame. He's probably the, the biggest guy on the field. I right was just now. gonna. He looks like a man. Looks like a grown man yep. with a family of kids, <laughs> three kids, a whole wife, grandkids, a probably. whole wife, mortgage. You feel me? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> but on top of Throwing it, the hands team. is crazy. Look, oh, oh my, God. my God! He almost got his feet down. Oh, I thought he, he might got, got his feet one down. In, nah, he almost got his feet down. We'll take oh, another look. Sorry, go on about Jeremiah. He he's just, bro. He's got the complete package, bro. He gonna do his thing at Ohio State. Hands. He got the hops. Jeremiah Smith, he almost target. had the body control. Let's see it. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, almost had the body control, man. 6'3", <laughs> 200 pounds. Also looks like one of the fastest guys here. Yeah, I not he just one of the too. strongest. He runs track, too. He runs track. We might catch a glimpse of him tomorrow during the, um, the showdown. Second down. Adidas yes. throwdown yes. coming tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. We had pool play yesterday, pool play today, racket play Sunday. But tomorrow is the Adidas throwdown. It's going to be a fantastic event here in L.A. 6 p.m. Eastern, QBs, wide receivers, linemen, destroying ones. going to be a great time. And who back is to, it? Back to feeding Julio number four. Jones. First and goal, first and goal. Julio. First down, first and goal, Jeremiah Smith. Is it just me or I didn't see much of Julio Jones this is last NFL season? I haven't seen much of Julio Jones for a couple of years. Yeah. He, uh, he feel, look, obviously Julio Jones, first ballot Hall of Famer, one of the best wide receivers of all time. All true, all true. But he he kind of got old quickly, no? That's yeah, but I mean, it's like Megatron too. He was old, but that's a guy that you just throw the ball up to, bro. He gonna make plays, bro. He's strong, veteran of the game, great route runner. But you know, it is what it is. We don't know what goes on in those NFL systems. So Jeremiah is, has yeah. been the number one target for SFE, but they have a lot of other weapons. So it's been a little surprising to see SFE and Jaden Glasser, their QB. Who do you think is going to right here? Uh, gotta be number four. Looking his way the whole time. Moves off of him. Incomplete, looking for Chance Robinson, the Miami commit, four star. Does SFE have like too many dudes? Cause it's just not working. I mean, this is, this is me just going down their roster and I'm not skipping any by jersey number. Four star, five star, five star, four star, five star, four, four, three, three, four, three. Then we got four guys without stars. And then we're back to four, four, four. And then last two without any. That's what we're talking about with SFB here. So down 17, nothing. Big play here. They want to stay alive in this game. We're about halfway point, 22 minute running clock. D, who are you going to here on third down? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Is that even a question? <laughs> And this is, by the way, third and goal because they're just inside the 10 yard line. They're bringing that fire. And low pro showing blitz. You get two blitzes. Here's one of them. Two. Throws it up. No one oh, home. Wow. Low pro. 19 nothing and getting the ball back. they going crazy right now. I ain't going to lie to you. I mean, what else do we expect, low though? Low pro will take over on offense. Low pro 2 and 0. SFB 0 and 2. And the way this is shaping up right now, could be 3 and 0 or 3. Mm. Mm. Now, this was from yesterday. If you've been watching the stream, Raw Miami also won earlier today. So they and looked great over 24K. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to have to see a replay of that. <laughs> And he pointed at that boy. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't have a number on his jersey, so we can't give him uh, the, the proper respect. But take another look. 
up along the sidelines and slams on the brakes here, T. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> SFE last year, they were they were One. these quiet eighth and Two. ninth graders, not saying that much. Like, you know, Let's happy go, to be Let's here. Go. They're playing in their hometown of Vegas. A lot of them are from <laughs> Vegas and Hawaii. A yeah, lot of their please. voices were still high. This year, this oh, year, <laughs> deep voices. Okay. Some boys got chest hair and facial hair. They, uh, they, they have been, they, they have gained it's their swagger. Amazing. Yeah. One. They're shaving their, uh, I mean, Three. Just, over the middle touchdown too easy. What a more save. pointing. More points. Jesus. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. 26 nothing. You heard me read off all those stars. Low Pro has one four star and three three stars. And Low Pro is just dancing on their graves. Look, this can't be said enough. SFE is a great football team. They are a certified great football team. That is how good this Low Pro team is. 26. I don't know if we had a clean sheet like this before. The whole tournament. Oh, you're look at the soccer reference too. A clean, I don't know if we had a clean sheet like this before. Clean sheet. He's trying to get, get the World egg. Cup bag from FIFA. <laughs> they got the goose egg on the screen right now. What? Well, I know you played no. soccer. I did too. I did what everything. position did you play? I did everything, bro. I was young, so I I hadn't had my position figured out yet. But oh, I just heard my voice. Someone said grip. The DJ got a little voice uh voice soundtrack of me saying grip no. boost. <laughs> But not in soccer, I did it all, bro. I did it all. Um, I played a lot of defense, but Same. obviously playing a uh, striker was the most fun. But I don't know. I, I did a lot of things, man. I started out playing midfield. Yeah, midfield is tough. You got to control the whole game, by defense the way, and offense. By the way, just take a look at this view here. Mm. How beautiful. One. How uh, beautiful. Two. I started out playing Balls midfield, away. realizing and then realized I did not enjoy down, running as much down. as you too have much. to run to play it's midfield. too much. I played uh, wing. Bro, One you got to run the whole sideline. The whole and game. And then I moved to sweeper and then just treated it like free yeah. safety. Like, you, <laughs> yeah. you, you you try to send it down there. Yeah. I, you know, there. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm there. Lower the shoulder a little bit. Big third down here for Jaden Glasser's offense. As a reminder, they are getting One, Colin Hurley back two, later. The four-star, he was at Elite 11s. He'll be here the rest of the weekend. Ah, oh, man. Glass are not on the same page there with Jeremiah Smith. Frustrated. And we have a 28. A little frustrated. Nothing. You, you, think you, know Tyma, you think Ty McCutcheon can do the broadcast while calling the plays and throwing the ball? Give him, give him the vibe <laughs> cam, Tom. <laughs> Ty, Ty, tell me what this play is. <laughs> All right, all right, it's going to be two outs and a go. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ty. <laughs> two outs and a go. I wonder where the go is. Is it inside or outside? Uh, outside. I feel like most the of their outside. go routes yeah. are outside. Yeah. SFB has guys running on at the last minute. Woo! Oh, two outs and a go. That's where that boy there. Second down, second down. Second down. Man. One, two. McCutcheon looking right, three. looking over the middle. Nalu. Nalu. That's the one receiver and we know without a show number. some love. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a little easier to tell which one Nalu is, but Nalu has been an OT7 superstar since day one. That boy wiped his nose on him. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Yo, Nalu's first down catch at a 28 nothing game. Bro, he came up to me yesterday because he didn't give me the best interview, and he was like, bro, I, I knew I was about to go in. I was stressed. Hit me tomorrow. I promise I'll give you a better interview. So we'll see. And they're Nalu. feeding him right now. Oh! 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 Oh my God! <laughs> Look at the little man go! <laughs> no way! One time, get him a touchdown, Ty. Oh yeah, we got to see that again. Take another look. I put the brakes on. I hate them. calling oh defenders out by name, but Mario Buford is a four-star <laughs> with offers to Oregon, Arizona, and Nebraska. Getting His brother's at Nebraska. A youngin. And oh Nalu God. said, "I don't care about your stars." Yeah, at least he ain't. if he would have slipped, bro. He just did that One. to a great player. Two. Three. Back in end zone. Ah. Ah. I mean, he Second did that to one of the best DBs in the country there. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, punch, punch, punch. 
Oh, is that? Is yeah. Switch whip. We're gonna run a whip. Yeah. Oh. You're not that. When you're good, you can do what you do. <laughs> it's easy. I mean, I, I, I kind of. One. Here's a blitz. Whoa. Oh, damn. Whoa. <laughs> oh, did, did you mean to murder him? Nah, bro. My fault, Unnecessary bro. roughness on the defense. Half the distance. <laughs> replay. He probably expected Actually, a automatic scramble. first down. Automatic he first probably, down. Hey, D, I'm going to hand the ref his flag. This is from Destroying. I appreciate you. Hey, tell me you're doing a good sir. job. Keep playing hard. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> tell him trying to set me up, fam. No, and a good watch to help you out. Tell him trying to set me up, fam. <laughs> He's trying to have me jumped again. We got trips <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. McCutcheon looking that way before the snap. Here's the second blitz. McCutcheon dipping and dodging and finding his man in the end zone. And Lopro is up 35 nothing D. Oh my goodness. 35 to zip. No, sir. Look, I ain't gonna lie. I think my team sucks today, but boy, at least we, we put some points on the board. You didn't have to play low pro either. Oh, was he touched there? Was he touched? No, nope. I don't think so. McCutcheon laughing his way to the bank. 35 nothing. Look, Jesus this game Christ. might be over, but this is a big drive because hey. because SFB cannot lose this game with a goose egg Zero. on the board. They need points here. Tom, what's going on down there? I wonder who's calling the defense. I'm back with my man, Nalu. Bro, you were just going off out there. Hell yeah, I, I, I did went off. <laughs> Oh, what a, who taught <laughs> you gave him a little, little dip on that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get in? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, you got touch? I reached for it. I thought I was in, but I guess the ref didn't call it. We got to get you a touchdown today. I will, for sure. Oh, Ty McCutcheon, the best offensive coordinator ever? Yeah. Oh, besides Coach John, but. You don't want to fire Coach? Nah. I don't know, Ty's got you guys up 35 nothing. Who's so, going there? Yeah, we're doing good right now. That's going to call sure. Who's better, Ty or Micah? To be honest, I don't even know. It's it's equal. All right, smile if you think Micah. Wow, so that's Ty. No, 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 no. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Good job. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Are they Dalu. calling their own defense, too? Yeah, that's what I was wondering, right? Yeah, I don't see nobody throwing signals from the side. They don't look over, so. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Nah, Lucy. Why? I did went off. I what did, did went off. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Oh my god. I did. I did Straps. go off. Third down. Oh, I see their decoy. He calling Third them down. quick, Third instantly. Third down. I think. I mean, look at look at even the height difference between Jeremiah Smith and the DB. Oh yo, the low pro OC just pulled up. He's walking over there on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> you point at the scoreboard. Hey, Tom, our new QB for SFE? Eighth grade. Oh, what? I mean, eighth grade. Shoot. He uh, he hasn't been playing all day? They're giving him some reps. Yeah, know? they're giving him some reps now. I mean, they should have given him reps a lot earlier. They're giving him some time right now, you know. End of the ball game, 43 seconds left. But, man, 35 to zip. What are you putting some points Lawrence. up, though? the QB One, right now. Two. And they're blitzing him, throwing a deep Jeremiah. Uh, uh, turnover. Man, turnover on down. That's tough. Yeah, Lawrence just finished seventh grade That's going tough. into eighth grade. You know, I know it must be frustrating for Jeremiah because he plays at um, Chaminade, Madonna, yep. down in South Florida. And them boys have you been have whooping ass you don't want for to. years. Like he every game. To. It's kind of boring to go watch the games because they put up so many points. Right. and. And they Two. score so little. They're Three. just doing push-ups. <laughs> These boys crazy. They gritty to kill the clock. Did push-ups yeah. on one side. Just a dominating oh. oh. over one of the best <laughs> teams in the country. Oh, oh my God. Is yeah. low pro. Is Low Pro D the best seven on seven team in the country? <sighs> they just might be, man. They, they have strong, strong, strong little, you know, run for the championship right now. They have not lost a game at OT7 since OT7 West in March in Phoenix. They won undefeated in Texas, winning both of those OT7 divisionals. They are undefeated here in LA at the OT7 championship, 3-0. And they just beat 
Historically speaking, the best seven on seven team in the country. 37 nothing, D. Them boys balling. That's crazy. Ty McCutcheon handling it with no issue at all. Dominating performance. Oh, you, you want the mic here? Here you go. Uh, yes, sir. 37 nothing. D. Is, is, is SFE Whew. actually actually we're gonna save this conversation for the next game you better tune in for us raw Miami trillion boys coming up next 37 nothing low pro over SFE is low pro the best team in the country mm. tune in the rest of the weekend to find out raw Miami trillion boys coming up next we'll play the next couple hours Adidas throw down Saturday bracket play Sunday for Tom, for D, I'm over time today. Don't go anywhere. Raw Let's Miami Chillion Boys coming up next. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Follow me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. We're back, OT Tom here with Snipe. Look what we got here. We got the trophy that everyone is playing for in the OT7 championship. Is it, is it nice? How are we feeling? Nice weight, you know what I'm saying? I like this. I wish we can get a replica to take home with us or like a ring or something. Yeah, you could steal it. Yeah. You're right. I, I didn't think about that. Yeah, you're right. I got what All right, we just watched an amazing low pro game. I love watching Ty McCutcheon out there, be quarterback, calling his own plays, calling his own shots. I mean, they look unbeatable. That's because they are. And if you don't know, they literally have not lost since they came and played from the very first game they ever played. They won both divisionals. If they were to continue to play, they would have won those divisionals as well. And they will win the entire thing. Hey, I loved watching that, but I think we're going to love watching this a little bit more. We got Raw Miami versus Trillion Boys, the trilogy. These two teams hate each other. We got Julian saying one of the best quarterbacks in the country showing out now for Raw. I'm going to let D&Day take this over because this game, this game's going to get me stressed. All right, back to D&Day. Get this trophy. Back to you guys. The trilogy is here. Raw Miami versus Trillion Boys here at the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. Welcome to beautiful sunny Los Angeles as pool play of day two continues. Day one was fantastic. Day two has been even better. We had four divisionals to get here. We're here all weekend to see who we are Thirsty. gonna crown the champion of OT7. D, Trillion Boys, Raw Miami Whew. have given us two great games. That Raw Miami won both. Up. Trillion Boys won the first two. Uh, excuse me, Raw Miami won the first two. Trillion Boys looking for this one here. Mm. What are you looking forward to mm. most in mm. the trilogy? Man, you know it's going to be a tough matchup. Raw, Trilly, both two great teams, both two exciting teams. Jordan Anderson versus Raw again after joining mm. and flipping back to Trilly. Mm. Ellis Robinson and Raw's defense against five-star wide receiver DeCorian Moore and Trilly's Ooh. offense. Boy, it's going to be electric, man. They are just about ready to go. Overtime Tom will be joining us as well. Hi, Tom. And this was the game where there was a bunch of drama and they had six or seven people on the field, wasn't it? So, Tom, you were all about this drama. I could explain it, but I know for a fact there's nothing more than you love explaining the Raw Miami Chillion Boys drama. You want, look, you, man. You, here, look. Chain Boys you, you looked really good out some here. Of the history? Right Chain Boys looked really good out here this weekend, but uh, the la in the past they haven't looked so good. So they tried to find an excuse for why they lost. Now, Raw Miami, they won an amazing game in overtime where they did have one too many people on the field, but hey, box up, it had nothing box to do with up. the game-winning touchdown that KJ Duff caught. So it started a lot of drama. We made T-shirts. They made T-shirts. We fighting in the comments. Let's just see who wins now that we're in the OT7 championship. You know what I mean? Because that's mm. that's really all that matters. Mm. Who are we putting our money on, guys? Who are we trading for? Trillion boys have looked fantastic here so far in Los Angeles. Raw Miami looked really bad yesterday, day one, but then looked kind of amazing so far. It's a new day for Miami. 
Uh, so uh, this this well, was Ross the results after yesterday. Out there, yeah. I'm curious how that's gonna go. Oh, they got the QB back, huh? Yes, sir. Oh man. I don't know. Some some in me, I never root for Trilly, but I, I think I'm a I'm a pick Trilly this game. D, can I tell you something? What's going on? Stupin pulled me aside during the last game. He was like, bro. I just what? want D to be positive Trilly. about me, you know? I want him to love Trilly. How can I make him love Trilly? And you know what? You're going to make his day that you just picked them. I got you, my boy. I got you, man. He's short. He's short. Off to a bad start. We have a turnover you, on downs off the rip. D, explain the scoring for us. Scoring is simple, y'all, boys. Where it starts, you score seven points, you get a chance to get a one-point gamble. Which if you get that, you go up to eight. If you don't, you go back down to six. Defense can also get some bread, too. Three points for a pick, two points for a turn. Say go. Down. One. Let's see two. what Raw Miami does. Oh no, Julian. We got two. Second down. Where they start quarterback at? On the big line, on the 30. Who is this in now? Hey, um, if you're not Johnny sure, Appleseed. you can go straight down that black. Yep. Johnny Appleseed. I'm gonna go find out. So Julian saying four-star prospect committed to Alabama. He was just named MVP of Elite 11. And this is his first game so far at the OT7 Championship. He's going up the middle right here. QB already looking better. Raw Miami has, has not so far had the best quarterback play. Well, Beckham Kritza looked great earlier today. It'll be interesting to see if he gets any reps here in this game right now. So on our roster, it says Julian see. is number nine, but I, I've seen him before, and he don't look like that. Right here. He don't really look like that. So. That's what, yeah, wait. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask Jose. Where's wait. Jose at? There he is. All right. They Set, go. quarterback in. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. And walking in. Oh my safe. goodness. Julian? Yes, it is. He's back. Julian, Julian, Julian saying, dancing, prancing into the end zone for seven. Nine nothing, Raw Miami. Yeah, I'm blind, man. My my, my glasses got some some stuff on them. I can't really see. Wait, hey, that boy doing his thing. Well, MVP for a reason. At the lead eleven. Score seven zero. Before I stop. Boys looking to answer back on offense. Yeah, that's one run. That's one run. First down. Yeah, that's what uh, me and uh, I think that's Hunter. Yeah, yeah, we talked about it last game. One, two, three. And that's completed over the middle. First down. Yeah, because if he don't cross this before four, four is dead. Left in this game. Yes, sir. Well, I am jumped out to a quick lead. Trillion Nine. boys here on Two. first down. Thank you, D. Sorry, we're we're having uh we're having some technical difficulties over here. Why are you acting uh, like that, man? Trillion boys like need some points right here. <laughs> down nine nothing. Now we have a 22 minute running clock. One. Two. Three. And they're Ooh. taking a shot deep right off the rip. Touchdown. In now. Trillion boys. In now. This might be a game right here, yo. Donovan Alu Bode, the Don. four star class of 2025. Donny. He had a, he had a big day see me. earlier today. And he is That's off to a fast That's start here against Raw Miami. With the Donny yo, we doing this thing. He was running down the field, blown coverage, throwing his hands up. Like, throw me the ball, throw me the ball. Oh, so they got him one. Nine to seven. 60 minutes, 50 seconds left. Chat, I want to know who y'all think is going to win. Trilly or Raw? Might be a shootout, fam. Again, we looking at the chat. We tapped in. I got the iPad right here in front of me open. So um, whatever y'all want to say, I'm tuned in for it. 10 seconds. One. Two, three. Taking a shot deep. Oh, Raw Miami, Ooh. oh, in and out of the hands. Oh, really? Aaron Gregory, that was nice ball uh, excuse right me, there, Bryce man. Fitzgerald. Uh, we got, they got two Ooh, number fours right on their team. The four star class of 2025 almost came up with it. That was close, man. It's like he had it, but then the ground knocked it out of his hands. Down. The ground playing defense as well. A little catch. Wow. 
Hey fellas, one thing to keep an eye on here. I don't see KJ Duff out here the first two uh, the first two drives. I'm not sure if he's banged up or what the deal is. We got no KJ Duff though. Mm. Now you're the point. Hey, now you gotta you're go the do point. some investigative work I down there, that. Tom. I can do that for you. What's up with KJ, man? Ten seconds. They bring one star back and then sit another. Set. One. Go. One. My boy Julian. Two. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's completed yeah, over the middle. Luane McCoy, the four-star oh, class of 2024. Oh, yeah, that's my fault. I thought Julian Sane looked different oh, no, this whole we, time. Yeah, I'm tripping. Good. <laughs> I was like, he's not here. That's not him. <laughs> he hasn't been here the whole time, <laughs> but he is here right now. Big third down here for Raw Miami. I got to say, Beckham Kritzer was great, but this team has a little bit yeah, of nah, a different looking, feel yeah. with Julian here. No. Um, Thor's looking a little more, you know, on point right now. But, I mean, he won Elite 11 One. MVP for a reason. Oh, big hit on the quarterback. Shot deep, Flat. incomplete. Automatic first down. That's yes. incomplete. Damn, I heard, I heard it on the mic. Defense. Automatic first down. Yes, sir. 10 yards, we going to the 20. First down. Take another look at this hit. That's Bow. not a touch. It's not a touch. We playing tackle football out here? What's going yeah. on, fellas? <laughs> yeah. Hey, they getting him ready for tackle ball, man. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with one of the best receivers at OT7, KJ Duff. But you're not playing right now. What's going on? Yeah, I, I uh, tweeted my ankle earlier. I, uh, I sprained it a couple weeks ago, so it's just like a little lingering thing. It's been bothering me. Okay, so you played yesterday, taking the day off. Do you think we can get you back on Sunday for championship Sunday? Definitely could be there for Sunday. That's really what matters. You know, this pool play, it's, it's, it's good play, it's good, play, uh, it's good games, but, you know, I got to be there on Sunday. Yeah, save it for when it matters. Now, you're, you are missing the battle right now, Trillium Boys versus Raw, and you were kind of at the center of it all. Take me back to the first matchup, overtime. What happened in that overtime game? Do you remember? Yeah, that was the one in Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it, it went into overtime. Yeah, I had a couple of touchdowns that game, and it really came down to uh, that last play where they kind of threw it up, and I just went up there and got it. You know, they said we had like seven people on the field, but at the end of the day, it came out to a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's not like anybody was running wide open, you know. But yeah, it was that was a good game, and we played them in Orlando again. We beat them again, so I think we up, and we played them in Battle Miami too. So I think we up like three, four, nothing on them right now. <laughs> I've right, been smacking them around. Last question: You got one of the best quarterbacks in the country out here now, Julian. Saying, how you feeling about that? That's real good. You know, every ball you throw is like damn near perfect. So it's good to have yeah. him out here. And, so go. Uh, definitely an advantage. So man, we'll rest that ankle up. We'll see you back out Ooh, here on Sunday. Appreciate it, oh Back to you guys. <laughs> oh what a God. Right now, brother. What a throw! Oh my God. Dion to block the four star. We need to take another look at this route. He snatches ankles right here. Four star class of 2025. D, break down this route for me. I don't know, I can't even see it. We just ran, oh, a little slant across the middle. That throw and that grab, though. What, what is touch? I just, I was watching the quarterback. I just like how it spins out his hand, bro. It just, it's not like he trying, he places it right where the receiver got to grab it. Man, this is a whole new raw now. 16 to seven, raw is up. Tom, what's going on? I have, thanks, fellas. I'm down here with Julian saying You just pulled up. You've been missing for a little bit. How's it feel to get out here with the team? Oh, it's a, it's a good feeling, you know, just being out here with the guys and uh, just getting working. And have you have you played with this squad before? Have you gotten some reps in with these guys? Yeah, I've played with these guys before uh, back in January, February. So it's uh, good seeing some these faces again. All right, well, they've been struggling without you. They were 0-2 yesterday. Now you got to turn it on a little bit. You think you can lead the charge, still, still, make a, still make a run at this championship? Yeah, we'll turn it up. We'll turn it up. All right, last question for you. Any teams out here that you've seen or any players out here that you're like, damn, that's that's the toughest squad that we're going to go against? Um, I heard I heard Low Pro is a pretty good team. You know, they're smoking everybody, so. Oh! All right, man. Good luck. Julian Sand back here at OT7. Appreciate you, bro. Back to you guys. Oh, and my. And during that interview, oh Julian Sand to Corey and Moore. Hey, that boy him, bro. Hey, fellas, Levitated. What? I ain't going to lie. That boy him. That's how you turn. D, break down this catch. God, What's just down? look at him. Go up. He don't need to. Oh, my Damn. God. Damn. Look at how high up. Oh, my just God. Went. The five star in the class of 2025. He is the number three wide out in the class of 2025. That might be catch of the tournament for me. So far, catch of the tournament for me right now. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And he won another one. He won another one. Do it once. And he won another one. Do it twice. No. Oh no. 
They called him out. Hey, we got second round. Second oh, no. round. You didn't God. catch that? Yeah, I caught they that. They called him out. They called me out. It's cool, though. We're going to get back at it. We, we got to see that bad boy again, fam. Take another look. Oh, great, great throw. Catch, but he looked like, to me, he was out of bounds, too. Mm, damn, he was. But you can't, you can't the, see that side That side left foot. Though. You, you what? See first foot landing, he was out of bounds. Good catch, but he was out of bounds. His first foot. That was an elite catch. Oh, oh bro. Yeah, low key, yeah. good defense. That see, that's the that boy kicked his foot out the way. That's. Oh, yeah. That boy kicked his foot <laughs> out of bounds. <laughs> and, and if you're wondering why it's good defense, that is because that is Ellis Robinson, a.k.a. Ellis Island, the number one DB in the class of 2024. He plays at IMG, five-star, going to UGA from New Haven, Connecticut, the ca the pizza capital of the world. First and goal. That was a hell of a play he made on Decorian Moore. Oh, my God. He low-key got caught on. I, I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's half the battle, you know? bounds, though. He, it's like, horrific. kicked his foot at the perfect time. You can't give up that's on the play. It went out of bounds. Lesson to be learned there. Cannot give up on the play. <laughs> See, now I, I just want to watch the Corian, just his release, or what route he runs. The life of an official. Motion in the cross. This is Darius One. Curry rolling Two. out to the right, throwing over the Ooh. middle. Yeah. Complete. We're looking for Winston Second Watkins. And goal. Second and goal. The four-star Winnie Watkins, Colorado commit from Bradenton. It's weird. Uh, excuse me, five-star. It's weird seeing him play for Chilean boys. I'm used to seeing him with SFB. I know. Maybe if he was on SFB, they'd be doing a little better. But, you know, it is what it is. How do you think they got him over? I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> a nice long discussion. <laughs> a nice yo, 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 long up, conversation. Oh, nice Kieran, long discussion. welcome to the booth. What's going on with y'all? How are you doing? Ooh. Doing good, man. It's, it's a very intense game right now. Raw Miami Five. ain't look this good all tournament, but they're looking really solid Two. right now. Raw Miami's Three. come out with a different energy so Three. far. Three. Touchdown. Really, truly that six foot eight Two. play, boys. Six foot eight, huh? Ooh. Elijah Washington, the four star tight end from Norfolk, Virginia. How tall is he? Get in the end zone for Chelly Boy. Do you six, mind us at his height? 6'6? Six, six? I think on paper 6'6. Six, six. That boy looks taller than me. He is massive. That boy looks taller than me. We got ourselves a game. He's kind of the same mold of KJ Duff of Raw Miami, that tight end, wide out hybrid. Quick, soft hands, big body. Nice catch. 16 14, Raw Miami. Julian saying the Bama commit back to work, taking a shot deep. <laughs> Bro, he throws such right a pretty now, football, bro. That's actually so I crazy. No, Dog, it is effortless how how beautiful he throws this football, bro. And that was still even a good ball, I was about to cry. That was beautiful. Yeah, it's okay. You, you can cry. Yeah, I'm, we're, not gonna cry. we're not going to hey, stop Tom, you. put the vibe cam on him when he, when he start crying. <laughs> it was just so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Producer KJ just said that no Sean Moreno cry. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just a straight just a tear rolling down your face. Just that one big tear. <laughs> Just one big old roll. <laughs> one right big old <laughs> tear. See, I'm, I, I'm excited to watch yeah, okay. Raw offense now, bro. Mr. Elite 11 MVP. They look like a completely different team right now. I know. Completely Set, different. Go. So Raw Miami is 1-2 right now. SFB is 3-0. and oh, uh, Excuse me. Trillion Boys are 3-0 and oh right now. Young Weezy, yes. baby. And that is LeWayne McCoy. Oh, yeah. On Q there from D, the four-star class of 2024, FSU commit. Made arguably the best catch in OT7 history. No, hey, how'd y'all feel about that catch no. on the last drive? I didn't get to see y'all. I that think one. that that takes it for the tournament right now for me. The catch by Decorian? Yeah. The catch by my boy. You know, yeah. what, I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we, we get don't it, know. Karen. He's from Texas. We don't know. <laughs> he's from Duncanville, Texas. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, we hurry up, know hurry up, he's hurry up. a number three wide out in the class of 2025. We know, we know. Nah, shit, number three. You mean number one? Let's go. <laughs> Wayne's grab the was great. Ooh. Oh, his grab was great last turn. Flat on the play. A little overshadowed <laughs> by Kyan Barry. You know I got to rock the That's, that's still number that one. True. That's still so number one. I don't think anything's Jones taking that, bro. To win the game is crazy. Yeah. And that will be a turnover on downs, I believe. Is there a flag? Or am I there is a flag. What was the flag? I think they picked it up. Probably the offense. I don't know. 
16 all with six minutes left. Oh. As a reminder, turnover on downs is two points. Pick is three, touchdown is seven. Hey, today is the second day of pool play. Sunday is bracket play. Tomorrow, D, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is the throwdown. Adidas throwdown brought to you by Adidas. We got a lot of games. We got receivers going crazy. We got them boys racing. We got DB games. We got one-on-ones. We got linemen benching. We got everything coming, man. Adidas throwdown tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. These streets are saying that you was going to run the 40 in a 4-4 tomorrow. I don't know what streets you're listening to, man. <laughs> <laughs> the streets, I'm, I'm listening to ain't saying that. <laughs> my, my streets are saying that D has been complaining about a, a pulled hammy. Yeah, That's what my streets are saying. My hamstring been messed up for like a month now. And, you know, I try to just be the athlete I am. And after like two weeks, come back. And I messed it up even worse, so. If I learn one thing, you got to just let the injury, you know, recover and do its thing. You know, you always find weird things at the broadcast booth. I don't know what that, what's that? What's that right there? Got, 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 got the big old pressure chain. I look down, I'm like, what is this under here? Hey, Did you make, make this? Make sure it stays in sight because it might go missing. You never know. Is, that, is everything taken care of? <laughs> All yeah. credit cards, wallet, <laughs> yeah. jackets. Hey, Make dude, sure you your shoes is a size 12. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll take one off of you if you want to be charitable. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, we're going to see what's good. I, I'll we're help you see. out with the tax right off. You know we're what I mean? We're going to see what's good. Kieran, you're 6'6. Six, six. You're telling me you wear a size 12 shoe? I wear a size 13. You know, I'll <laughs> right, that boy going to take out the insole. That I boy six foot three, though. Don't give me too much. <laughs> yeah. You start saying I'm 6'6, six, six, people are going to be asking me why I'm not in the league. So 16 all, we had four divisionals to get here. You had to win your divisional. We had three divisional winners, because Low Pro won twice, and then we gave out nine at-large bids. Both Raw Same Miami guy. and Trillion Boys were given at-large bids. They both had pretty impressive runs, especially Raw Miami, and this is the trilogy as Raw Miami shows Blitz. I believe he was down there. He was. Now, I'm wondering if there is a miscommunication with the Raw Miami defense blitzing on second down there, D. Uh, I, I don't know. I've noticed a lot of teams have been blitzing on second down. I don't know. I, st I still don't know the strategy. Man, I don't know. They probably waste both of them back to back. But yeah, it's the end of the game, bro. They're going to bring both blitzes. The Trillion Boys can punch it in for the touchdown. With Raw Miami defense. So 16 all, this is the trilogy matchup. Raw Miami won the first two. The first one was in some controversial fashion. The second one a little more, you know, non-disputable. Throwing out some big words there. They're coming again, they're coming again. Here's the blitz. I believe we have a false start. We do have a false start. So that'll be a replay of down, back him up five yards. False start. So do they still have their blitz? <laughs> They're going to bring it again. <laughs> they do still have the blitz because it was a penalty on the offense, I believe. Let's go. Yes, Replay the correct. third down. Replay the third down. Let's go. Right here, big dog. Hey, I will say this. Okay. The intensity is back today for, for Raw Miami, man. The, the, the coaches are screaming the toxicities. They should I have need one it. left. We've had a couple of games that haven't exactly been that they have close. One blitz left. And this game right here feels like the most intense game of the day of the weekend one. so far. And here comes Two. the blitz, throwing it up, one. not one. on Direct. the same page between uh. Curry and Aluk Bode. And man. that will be a turnover on downs. Raw Miami getting the ball back. Oh, man. Truly have been undefeated, but I, bro, can they get over this uh, this raw Miami hump? Bro, I don't, I don't know. That's a tough one. So minute 50 left. There is a flag down here though. They threw it late. I swear, I swear to you. It looks like Trillion Boys still on offense. The body language and yeah, it looked like they still on offense. Hey, but you, when you help, when you hold him that long, he should have just tapped him and got away. You get what I'm saying? Right hey, here, stupid, right here, right stupid right here, right and Raw Miami's coaches are going at it. I'm crazy right now. <laughs> third down, third down. So they down. threw the flag. The Trillion boys the just started jawing at the Raw the Miami ten, coach, the and the Raw ten. Miami coach was saying, that's how y'all got to win. Then Trillion was saying, oh, yeah, that's how y'all won in Orlando. On the, yeah, no yeah. More. on the outside, he was holding. 
He was definitely holding. He was holding on the outside. So repeat third down. After all that, only one minute remains. Throws. Don't matter. Incomplete. They do not matter. Incomplete. And in a way, that might have just hurt Trillion Boys even more. Because the Trillion Boys. time off the clock. The Trillion Boys are now down as they were going to be about 90 seconds ago. They still they don't have the ball as they same thing 90 seconds ago. But now we're under a minute left and with a running clock and only one timeout. Raw Miami just has to be smart with the football here. Even the timeouts, they don't really do much. They're like 15 seconds stops in the game. Nice run. Run the ball and that will probably that will do oh, it. So, Miami. Trillion Miami. Boys uses their we got one timeout time right here. Timeout, timeout. Why can't Trillion beat Raw? Imagine, yeah. They only get one timeout? Seven. Okay. And run it again? Five. One more run. So, Raw Miami does not out. have Three. any runs left. You get two Six. runs. Two. You get two blitzes a game. Julian saying scored their first touchdown of the game on a QB sneak. You saw the second run right there. So we'll see. I, I, I mean, this has to be conservative, right? Right, Z? Yeah. Just don't throw a pick. Just don't throw a pick. The lead 11 MVP is not going to throw a pick, though. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Go. Hey, little man. Easy. That is complete. Ball game. And that should do it. Ball game. Raw Miami knocks off the undefeated oh, Trillion Boys, 18 to 16. Raw Miami moves to two and two in pool play. Trillion Boys move to three and one in pool play. Indeed, that was probably the best game of the day so yeah. far. This is a whole new Raw Miami team, man. It's a whole new team. Good matchup. Trilly Boys look good still too, but you know. Somebody got to win the ball game. Raw, Raw Miami. Out on the field. Oh my God. Raw Miami looking much more dangerous with Julian saying the Alabama quarterback back with them. They've looked much better in general today. Stick with us. We got a couple more games today, including these very same Trillion boys facing off against Low Pro. You do not want to miss that one. Pool play from LA continues. OT7 championship presented by Adidas. Marches on for Tom, for Kieran, for D. I'm over Tom Day. Peace. I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. I think we're I think we're on right now, Snipe. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How you feeling, bro? Hey, we got the whole squad out here. Low pro fam? Yes, sir! We got plenty more action for you today, so we need everyone to Yo, guys, Sniper Jones, he hates low pro. What? What? Oh, so you Way to go, Tom. How could you do that to these little kids? Every time. It's not true, bro. It's not true. Low bro, low bro, low bro, low bro, low bro. No. All right, hey, well, we just watched Trillion Boys versus Raw. Raw can't. I mean, Trillion can never beat Raw. It's really embarrassing. I mean, man, hey, Trilly, they they locked in right now, and I think what we about to see right now, upcoming, is probably like the game of the day. You know? Yeah, you know what? The game's making me real hungry. You got something for me? Exactly what you oh, want. thank you very much, sir. Nothing nice like, subway sandwich. Nothing like a subway sandwich when you're hungry. We gotta eat real quick, guys. We gotta, we gotta eat real quick, okay? I'm very excited. Ooh, I gotta put this around. Ooh, this is my sandwich. This is my sandwich. Yeah, yeah. This is me right here. Amazing subway. D and Day, we got Low Pro and Trillion Boys. Who's gonna win, Low Pro or Trillion Boys? I'm gonna go finish my Subway sandwich, watch Low Pro vs. Trillion back to D&D. Oh, my body.
Welcome back to sunny, beautiful Los Angeles as the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas marches on. You hear Swag Surfing in the background, so we're getting in the broadcast booth. I'm with my brother D Strong. I'm Overtime Day. And D, we got Trillion Boys and Low Pro coming up. How are you feeling about this game? It's good. What I mean, I feel good. It's always exciting when you get to watch Low Pro. And any playing the Trillion Boys? It's going to be a really good matchup, man. What should we look for here? Oof, will the QB chemistry decide the game? Makai and Ty know they low pro guys well, while Darius Curry's throwing out with a new team and new wide receivers there on the team. They got the offensive coordinator back. He made it in. So we're going to see if that changes anything. I mean, last time we didn't have the uh, offensive coordinator. They scored 35 points easily. But um, we had Coach Josh Stubin say teams should be afraid to face us due to how much talent we have. We're going to make teams look silly. Let's see if they make the Low Pro Giants look silly today. Low Pro just played SFE and handled those boys 37 0. Again, South Florida Express, historically the best team on the seven circuit, the winners of OT7 season one goose in egg. Vegas. And threw a goose egg. Goose egg, them boys. That's crazy. The Trillion Boys have looked great so far in LA. I would say this weekend is the best that they've looked so far this whole spring. Definitely. They started out 3 0, but we just saw a great game against Raw Miami. Mm -hmm. Raw took the W, man. They, they did. They did. Uh, D, Low Pro. They had Mikey Eugenio yesterday. We'll see if he is flying. He had to fly to Vegas to be there for Bishop Gorman practice. Had to fly back. Mm. Uh, his flight got delayed, him and Mike Alejandro at DEFCON. So it is Ty McCutcheon. They normally have a two QB system, but it is only Ty McCutcheon right now, and he will also be calling the plays for them. Oh, that's crazy. And it's crazy because if uh, Lopro wins this game, they win their group, which gives them a bye the first round of the playoffs. So they get to rest up an extra game. D has been, been studying the, the OG7 format, huh? I'm on it, man. I'm on it. I'm on it. Maybe it's the producer in my ear, or maybe it's me on it. Who knows? No, the world will never know. It's all you. It's all you. The world will never know. So oh, Ty man. McCutcheon in a QB. He's got a man wide open right now. Oh, my God. These boys. Oh, my God. That is... Kinda oh come on, Holly. Oh my God. Tipping oh and weaving. They've so, taken three sets of ankles so far. So low pro. So low pro. If you are not familiar with them, as they move extremely quickly, no huddle offense, couple hand motions, couple words, and they are off and running. May oh. Flag. Thank you. This is a matchup that I've been really excited to see today, fellas. Just because I think Trillian has some huge, super athletic corners out here. And they're both very, very, very talented, Devin Sanchez and, uh, and Dijon. But we're going to see. It's tough, man. It's, you're going against these low pro giants. So. Oh, no, man. We're going to see who's built. Built differently. Devin Sanchez, the number one DB in the class of 2025. He is at the top of your screen. Look at, look at this matchup, though, up here, bro. Like Devin Sanchez, the, the DB is six two. <laughs> Kinda is five foot three, and uh, and Kinda just got the best of him on that last play. And they're looking for him again. That'll be a sack, but there's a couple flags on the play. So low pro Probably is compromised of teams of, of guys from Vegas and Hawaii. A lot of Hawaiians, they only have one four star on their team. They have three three stars, including their QB time at Cutchin, but they're low pro because they have really not a lot of high end prospects, but they play together every single day. Four, they have unmatched chemistry, and it doesn't really seem to matter that they don't have high-end prospects. Four prospects is a huge step up from last year. Maybe they competed Two. last year and got ranked Balls higher. Ooh. What a catch! Oh, 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 my God. God. That's a good score touchdown. Titan Lakaden, 2025 oh. wideout from Hawaii. That boy Titan is is a dog. Has low pro up seven. That boy's a dog. Real question is, you got low pro or the Chiefs <laughs> offense seven on seven? Who you got? <laughs> I mean, low bro. I'm taking low bro. Yeah. I, look, the Chiefs defense has been the only thing that's kept them from winning the Super Bowl every single year. So I want to see low pro's offense against the Chiefs defense. Mm. Mm. 
this is this is ridiculous. Bro. Titan back on getting, defense. See, that's the thing about a lot of these players, where they dogs and Titan just went crazy on offense. Now that boy just lined up across from the Corian. Is it? Yeah. Let's see what yep. he does. <laughs> so the scoring seven points for a touchdown. Two points for a turnover on downs for the defense. Three points for a pick. Quick early completion. Darius Curry, the QB. For the Trillion Boys, the three-star. He's looked very good this weekend. Class of 2024, Colorado State commit from Long Beach. So we had four divisionals to get to this point. Low Pro won the two divisionals they were in. Trillion Boys got an at-large bid. They had an okay spring, but you know, as I said before, dude, they look pretty good this weekend. Team. They're an yeah. exciting team. I don't, I don't blame Overtime for bringing them. Time. Nice time. Oh, gonna lie. Low Pro look like they strapping right now. The defense has been the most impressive part <laughs> they about Low Pro. strapping right now. We always talk about the offense, but bro, they gave up zero points to SFE. Man. Zero? Zero. All, like like the eight five stars that SFE has, zero points? That has Man. been the most surprising thing of this whole weekend because Low Pro scores on everyone. Everyone knows that. But the fact that their defense held SFE to no points, insane. Thomas, overtime Tom, what's going on, my guy? Watch this, watch this. Thanks, fellas. I'm down here with the offensive coordinator for Low Pro, but you might be the backup offensive coordinator now. <laughs> Ty McCutcheon in the last game, they, they racked up 37 points without you. Uh, they do the thing, man. Um, so we actually kind of practice that when we're at home. Uh, when we do scrimmages, we let the kids call their own plays. That way they can get, get familiar with the playbook. And, uh, you know, go under the, make sure they understand their reads and kind of go from there. Were you, were you with Micah Eugenio, who wasn't here as well? Is that why you guys both came a little bit late? No, Micah Eugenio, uh, he came from Vegas, and I was driving from San Diego. Okay, okay. Now, Ty, Ty did a great job. He told me that you're still the man, though. Talk to me about the low pro offense. It seems like no one can stop you guys. What's kind of the mindset? Uh, it's just reads. You know, we're reading what the defense gives us, and uh, we take what they give us. And we kind of, uh, we're looking at safeties and kind of figuring out what they're doing and kind of go from there. Trillion boys, is this your first time playing against them? Uh, second time. Second time. Do you guys smack them the first time? No, I mean, they're a good team, man. They got, they got. They got dogs, so you Humble. just gotta be able to compete with them. And it looks like you guys are gonna be the number one seed in your in your back in your group. We'll see, we'll see. Is there any other team here, the eleven teams here, like oh that team kind of could give us some trouble? Uh, I mean, to be honest, any given any given game, man, you know these guys can come out and beat us. So we just gotta be prepared for anybody. I don't agree with you. <laughs> You're too respectful. Good luck, coach. Appreciate you. Man, so I've been I ain't gonna lie, I've been locked in on uh, watching Kinda over here against the Korean. And I ain't gonna lie, that boy, his his footwork, his technique, his fluidity, bro, perfect. He's breaking on the ball. You, if you notice, they haven't thrown a ball on that side of the field at all. Yeah. So Kaina Kamuhali, and this is at the top of your screen right now. Five got three. Six, seven on him right now, though. Five three. Six seven on him right Let's now. Let's see. Five three, class of 2026, and then Decorian Moore. Safety up. Five star. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's going to happen. That's, that's, that's going to happen. Excuse me, I'm on to Washington. And you're, uh, you're right. You just picked a bad time to say it. I mean, they got a foot in about a quarter of high <laughs> that one was tough. between them. Everyone so. on the Trillion <laughs> offense just came out dying laughing, bro. Well, that <laughs> one was tough. Now, D, D pointed it out to me because it was DeCorian Moore over there every single play. Mm -hmm. DeCorian Moore, six feet tall, five star, number three wide receiver, amazing player. You go to Elijah Washington there, who's six foot six, getting covered by a five foot three DB. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's a little much. Check out who's uh, back in now. Straight from the airport is Micah Eugenio QB out there. But he literally got fresh out the airport. He's still wearing the uniforms from last game. He didn't he didn't get the memo. <laughs> So Micah is an OT7 staple. He has offers to a couple schools, including FAU, UNLV recently. He was the QB last year, OT7 season one. He was the QB at both of their divisionals that they won in OT7 season two. He's the backup quarterback right now at, uh, at Bishop Gorman. He looks over the middle. Backup QB at Bishop Gorman in Vegas, and he backs up Mike Alejado of DEFCON. Okay, Trilly. 
Okay, Trilly. So do you think him hopping off this plane and being late and just now getting his first few snaps is going to affect the low pro offense at all? No. I don't. And you know what? I will say, if this was just about any other team, I would. I, I would say that. Even when you're talking about Raw Miami with Julian saying. Mike over the middle. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the offense is looking the same right way. Right Ooh, I don't like that. Really oh, There's a flag. But the offense you can't do nothing about is not looking as efficient as it was. But hey, it's just been like four throws, so I can't. I was going to say, we've yeah. seen the, the sample size of Mike yeah. Eugenio <laughs> having low pro buzzing is much greater than, yeah. than two incompletions. But it is something to keep an eye on. But I know how seven on seven works. If for yep. some crazy reason, Trillion Boys get a stop right here, go up and score. Then. I don't know, might be a little upset. I don't know, I don't know. We gotta stay and find out. Low pro with trips at the bottom of the screen. Ooh, good grab, good grab. First down, first down. Finds kind of combo Holly for, for the first, first down. For the yeah. These boys as dogs are lining up on defense, strapping, and then lining up on offense and, and just Give me doing work. First down. Kind of a little kinda, shaken up yeah, on that play a there. Bit, yeah. A bit of a big hit right there. Yeah, you got to die to the game. temple. Yeah, Dijon's going to get out of the game too right now. Yeah, they're both a little shaken up One, from there. All right. Two, Micah all back the to work in the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Look, windows. Dijon. Windows. windows. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it look easy. <laughs> nice little, nice little dance there too. <laughs> Take yeah, another look, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be any drop off in offense. Number four, Diesel. Nice crisp route. Nice crisp that back throw. Too. Strong hands. That was on. That was on. Uh, that was on Devin Sanchez, number one DB in class of 2025. I think this is the team that can match up with Low Pro the best. Though. I'm not gonna lie to you. They have so much talent on the defensive side, especially in the DB. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Karen, this feels like a game that whoever has the ball last mm -hmm. might win. It could be one of those situations. I think Trillian is like doing. I mean, that's really the first time I've seen all, all season somebody really just exploit that matchup, like in terms of height. Like they went right at kind of with a six foot seven wide receiver. Like no other teams have really done that. They so might far. do that every time. Yeah, I would do that every time. Well, I would take that every single time. We got a false start. Back him up five yards. False start. D, we have a beautiful day here in LA. It yeah, is. It, it's a little windy for my liking, but uh, the sun is out. Maybe 75 degrees. We got a tent the over diva, us, my boy. man. Complain What's up? About There's a win. tent over us. There you is a tent no over us. Yeah, we're not getting sun. We're in our, we're, we're in our Adidas jumpsuits. Yes, sir. Guys, we're we're, we're real. feeling it's good. We're looking good. Sound. Life's not it's, bad, it's D. It's tricky because, like, in the morning, in the earlier part of the day, I'd be hot. Uh huh. Sweating. Then I get up in the broadcast booth, the wind picks up a little bit, and then I start freezing. Great. Balls away. Taking oh, a shot snap. deep. Curry looking for his mitt. A, a little too far. Intended for yeah, Andrew Marsh, four star in the class of 2025. Smart play by the DB. He got in front of the receiver. He kind of just slowed him down. Throw out the speed, and then, I mean, you can't run through him, so. Hey, Kieran, Andrew Marsh, four star class of 2025. Where is he from? He is from Katy. He goes to Katy Jordan, and he's teammates with Zachariah Sample, superstar wide receiver for Eastern Key Fresh. If you. If you were not sure where Kieran is from, you know what I do, man. You know what from I do. New York, you, will, right? you will learn very quickly. <laughs> I'm from New York. Every Texas recruit ever. 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 Hey, man. I got to support my boys, bro. He ever. still refers to guys who goes to his high school as we. Nah, but real talk, though. Real talk, I've known, I've known Andrew since uh, since I believe he was in the eighth grade. He followed me on Twitter, messaged me, like, yo, check out my highlight tape. Here comes like the blitz. The Oh, they called him. And he oh, is man. down there. They're saying he got touched in the backfield. That's a sack. It's going to be turnover on down. A huge ball. stop Come for through. Low Pro. As not only do they get the ball back, but tack on two more points. That was Titan Lacaden on the blitz. And it's Ty McCutcheon back in at QB right now. I'm not going to lie to you, Titan is one of the coolest freaking names. Like, I'm, 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 I might, I might name my son Titan. That's a cool Titan. Point. 16, 7. First Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with Mike uh, Eugenio. You're back. 
Where were you? I was at the airport. My flight got delayed again. And then there was about 40 minute traffic coming here. Why you keep going? Where are you going? Uh, we had to go back to practice in the morning. Our coach wanted us to be there. And then he said we could come out here and play. So Vegas yesterday for practice, then back to yeah. California, then back to Vegas, and then back to California. Yeah, it's been a long one. Now you, you got some you got some Gatorade though to keep you hydrated. Yeah. This is a blessed favorite right here too, Glacier Freeze. <laughs> now when you weren't here, Ty McCutcheon, he was quarterback. He was also offensive coordinator. Dropped 37 points. Should he be the new OC? Yeah. I'm not, I mean, he still got coached on. I guess me and him were both not here. I didn't even know what was going on. I was watching the game though. They did their thing. What do you think about the new uh the uniforms? I think they're good. Nobody told me they was going green though. I put up I was watching the game, I was like, okay, they're going like this and I don't have my green uniform, so I guess I'm stuck like this. Is it true you hate Trillian boys with a passion? All right, back to you guys. See you guys. <laughs> Big play in this game as Trillian boys need to get a stop and get off the field. Oh, Time's that's running out, but we have a huge flag. flag. Huge flag. We got a, we had, we had huge a, flag. We had a mugging over the field. <laughs> in the middle of the field. A straight up flag. tackle just happened, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> back out, back out, back out, back out. He took his jacket and his wallet. Two soon, I'm coming across the middle right there. Look, 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 First look. Down. First down. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, oh my Boy, God. did a wrestling move on him. First down. Damn, that's crazy. Did he say Glacier Freeze is the best Gatorade flavor? He's spitting. Oh, What's wrong I don't know. He's tripping. The correct answer is lemon lime. Uh, you tripping too. That, that, nice that is the I correct like, answer. I like the grape. I have, the grape is I have, the best nah, for me. Ooh, grape Ooh, come does on, bust, though. I'm not going to lie to you, D. Bro, I'm not going to lie. Is grape fine. does bust. It's fine. Oh, I'll, go, I'll go grape. I'm with you on that, I completely that, forgot about Look, that. Yeah. Down, grape is down. top five, arguably right, top three. I feel like grape is two? outside of the line. The regular flavors. Lemon lime is top two, and it's not two. What color is lemon lime? I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna ask the head umpire right now what what, what he thinks uh, the best Gatorade flavor I is. Happened with one. Chat, you gotta let us know what y'all think too, man. Yeah. Second I'm down. telling you, grape was a great one though. I'm not gonna lie. What you got? Have you tried you the green apple days, one? Right? No. That thing is straight crack. It's not good. <laughs> Back when no no no, no, no. and I mean like that in, in a good way. Like it's like. Back it's when it's everybody here was was babies, they had yeah. this flavor called X Factor. Oh, dude, bro, dude, people, people. Bro. Bro. I never got to try that one, but my cousins be talking about yeah. that one all Five. the time. Because Kieran was a baby, of course. Five. I remember I was like eight playing soccer, boy. My favorite flavor was the X Factor, the yellow bottle with the red X on it. Listen, listen, I'll Different. say this much, right? Mm -hmm. If Gatorade is listening, I need y'all to bring back one thing. Y'all remember the ice punch, like the clear one? It looked like line. water. Get to that line. I never liked oh the clear my flavors. Bro. Yeah. That was was amazing. Not like clear like the cloudy clear. It was like clear like water clear. It was amazing. Uh, it was called Ice Punch. It was amazing. McCutcheon over the middle. Oh, my God. Touchdown. Oh, my God. <laughs> and oh, 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 That's pretty hard, bro. It's pretty hard. Them kids got a lot of good chemistry. They roll together good. They mess together good. It's hard to stop low pro. They're legit team. Damn. That's a very unbiased uh, that head was, umpire. That was before. the head umpire. Uh, he just little boyed him, bro. That was Ashton <laughs> Hage on the catch. Look, look, look. Money look at the disrespect. Little boy. What's even funnier is that the DB he did that to was taller than him. I know. <laughs> I've never seen that before. The irony, bro. He said too small and he's bigger than him. Too little. Deep. We got the money drive. Money drive. So let me tell y'all a little bit about it. If Trillion Boys was to score right here to get 10 points. They do not get to go for it hey, hey, hey. But if for some reason low pro stops them, if they get a pick, they get six points instead of three. If they get a turnover on down, they get four points instead of two. So somebody walking out of here with some extra chance. This is a good question for y'all, right? We know the last time that low pro lost was the first round, first very first game they had in the West Division, right? When was the last time you remember Low Pro having a close game? I would really call it. This, I ain't gonna lie. this isn't a close game unless Trillion Boys scores right here. I didn't even, right here. I didn't even remember them losing. <laughs> so I don't. Yeah, that, we've called, D and I have called, and you too, Karen, have called about 1,800 games between yeah. then and now. Yeah, we got to dig into the archives to find, to find footage of Low Pro losing. Y'all got good memories, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's the closest game they've had. This Got a lot of storage in the brand. I gotta remember where every Texas high school recruit is from, what their dad's <laughs> name is, what their mom's name is. You know what I mean? Social security number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this out, is a out, big play out, in this game out. on the money drive. Back big out, third out, down out, here out. for Darius Curry's offense. Let's see what they're cooking up. They got a man in motion right now. Man, cover. They thought Low Pro was gonna go off. Here comes the blitz. Nope. 
Throws it over the middle. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. Please. That is complete. No, they, oh, picked they, it got it. they picked it up. He got right to it. Just Ooh. enough. First down. For first down <laughs> yardage and Chilean boys <laughs> staying alive. Hey, D, I'll say this. If the dude that stole your wallet was a Texas high school football recruit, I would have found him in day. two seconds. <laughs> Oh, I'd have found it real quick. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, that's crazy, bro. They still don't feel real. Curry drops back, taking a shot deep. Big body bends. No. Incomplete intended. Washington Thomas going on down there. Oh, my God. You trying to run away from me? One time I choose not to that. Come on. I'm in good. We don't want you to be good. You can get active. You guys are not playing very well. Look, I'm, I'm just saying. Who's played well versus these boys? Um, no one. They're very, very. That's a very good question. You want to take my job? Um, a couple years. Give me a couple years. But uh, two point loss first round. We're right in the shape we need to be. We'll scheme this up. We'll cut the tape up. You know, we got eyes in the sky that y'all don't even know about. We're gonna. What does that even mean? Ooh. We got to move. Are you are you afraid of low pro a little bit? A little bit. Go. I'm not scared of anything. You, you, I only fear God. You don't have night, you don't have nightmares about Lopro. I only fear God. I fear God. You seem a little, still you seem a little still. Uh, I don't know, upset about the raw loss. Is that impacting this game? That didn't impact me at all. We have hundreds of cameras. Did I have any reaction to the loss? We only do more for a win. I actually like it to happen. We needed this as a team a little bit. Your defensive coordinator said, and I quote, "We can't guard these little M efforts." Reaction. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Hey, keep it close. Hey, get out. <laughs> bro, Stupid and Tom need their own show, bro. Josh, this is, this is Josh so funny. Stupid interviews feel like an <laughs> SNL skit. I'm not going to lie. That was hilarious. D, so, what, D what, was, what was number 14's name? He shot up to your ones and one? Because he was just chopping right now. Elijah Washington. No, 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 I'm talking about on, on low pro. Uh, oh, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden yeah, Manitai, my dog, he, Aiden. He is the one four star, and there's the touchdown. They right back in. Tag on 10. Bode with another touchdown. He has been the standout wide out all weekend for Chilean boys. Curry has been looking for him anytime he can. And we have a ball game, team. Door is open, man. Door is open. Maybe Chili can get this done. But Six point game. Uh, they no offense. They we have a stop. minute 20 left. They need to stop. They need to stop. They, stop. they, they need to stop. They, they only have drive. one timeout. Realistically, if you get 30 seconds per play, that's it's game. <laughs> one, two, three. Outside. Oh, my goodness. So we have a running clock here at OT7. Up until bracket play where the, in the final minute, the clock stops for things like out of bounds and completion and such. But right now, still running clock. Timeout used by the Trillion Boys. Hey, just as a reminder, tomorrow is the Adidas Throwdown. You are not going to want to miss that. We have the very best QBs in the nation competing in various QB competitions, the wideouts doing their thing, some races, some big, some uh, some some linemen in the trenches. It's going to be great. D, you doing your ones, potentially? Zerski. Adidas throw down. the best players. Running ones. Back out, back out, back out. have one winner. Back out, back out, 6 p.m. Eastern, here's the blitz. 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Spend your Saturday with us all before bracket play on Sunday. Wow, third down here, boys. Third down. Now it's a blitz. They got one remaining. I think Chilean boys are going to get a stop just to blow it on offense. And, and then they're going right, they to bring, the blitz. They bring, the, bring the blitz. Then they'll get the ball back with offense a couple seconds left. Be and ready. then they're going to need to have the Hail Mary activated. It's the way. It's the way. Oh, my God. Uh, what? Did he catch that? Of course. <laughs> what a catch. He's short of the first down line, though, guys. Oh, my God. Stupin's in the middle of the right field there? going nuts. Look at him. Look at him. He's short. He's, he's, short. he's short of the first down line. He's short Pitt's of the first down line. He's short. And instead of arguing, they need to hurry up quickly here because time 13, is running. 12. 12 seconds. Chance. Tick, 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 tick. No. Hail Mary needs to go Eight. right now. This is the final play. Wait. Oh, they put more time on the, the clock? The ref stopped the clock, put more time on the clock. My time. 
I had a third down. What did you guys have? That was third down. A little bit of a sus whistle there. Trillion has a chance to do the impossible. No, the clock was starting. On my west zone. On my west zone. On my west zone. Clock was starting. Hey, Jordan, you about to make a play or what? Hey, we gonna make a play. Hey, D, do you go? Do you go one play or two plays here? You got 24 seconds. Clock is gonna run. I think you go over the middle. One and make it two plays. You do one, you're not gonna get back in time. Throws it up, incomplete. You gotta hurry. Hey, you got 15 seconds left. It's easy, it's easy. You guys better hurry. 10, eight, seven, tick, 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 tick. Five seconds left. They're they gonna go defense. Ooh. Final play of the game. Oh my God, Time guys. Oh down. my God. One second. Away, throws it up. Looking for Washington. Throws it up. Oh, oh, shot it up. Bitch. I'll take it. And that hey, is Man. Low pro does what they do. 26 to 19 thriller, man. This is the closest anyone's ever been in low pro. Hey, hey, we ain't seen low pro push like this in a minute. Yeah, man. Low pro was tested. What low pro game. came through. And the Chilean boys, after starting pool play 3 and 0, moved to 3 and 2. And low pro moves to 4 and 0 in group stage D. Let's take a look at the final final play here. Oh, man. It's like a center fielder. It's like, nah, that's me. I'm going to go grab that. I'm going to go grab that. That was their tight end, the three-star Andre Porter, the biggest guy in their team who made that play right there. Low pro stays hot, finally tested. They win this one 26-19. They're coming up to the booth celebrating right now. What's up, Micah? Low pro wins this one. We have much more action. DEFCON SFE coming up next. Do not go anywhere. OT7 pool play, OT7 championship continues. All right, Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're gonna pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you gotta make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. I don't know. Hello, everybody. I'm here with my man, Sniper. Hey, Sniper. What's going on, man? How you feeling, Tom? I feel, um, I'm full from that Subway sandwich from the last break, but I'm doing really well. We just watched Chilean Boys versus Low Pro. Hey, man, I'm actually impressed that Chilean kept it close and had a chance at the end there. I'm not gonna lie. We all know Low Pro not the tallest team. I thought one of those Hail Marys had a high percent chance of being caught just due to the height disadvantage, but they still are undefeated and they still looking like the best team at the OT7. Yeah, they got Mikey Eugenio back, they got their offensive coordinator back. They just, they got everything going. Is, do you think California Power, the other undefeated team, is even close to them? I do. I think it's closer than a lot of people think, man. California Power is big, but it's so hard to say just because you're a big team, you can be low pro. We've seen so many big teams try to just use mismatches and it doesn't work. But I do think they're a worthy opponent. All right, all right, all right. And we got SFE versus DEFCON coming up. Both teams have been a little shaky early on, but I don't know. Who you got? I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. I think both teams could be playing better. But if I had to choose, I'm going to go SFE. All right, I think you're wrong. Okay. Back to D&D. &D. Goodbye. Peace. <laughs> to the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas. We are here live in sunny Los Angeles, California as OT7 Pool Play continues day two. And we have a great one. The winners of OT7 East, DEFCON 1, versus the winners of OT7 Season 1 in Vegas, SFE. Alongside my brother, D Strong. I'm overtime day. D, how down. you doing? How's it today, baby? Been? What are the vibes? It's been, it's been a good day, man. It's been a good day. And um, we got SFE versus DEFCON. It ain't been looking too sweet for SFE today, so. 
Looks like Colin Hurley's back, though. So it should be, he should be hopefully a turnaround on this team. We can see the hair from here. Maybe Colin Hurley is back. Well, One of the best right QBs now. in the nation. He cramps up. That's not the beginning. Ooh. And here we go. Complete. So oh. I think a lot of these quarterbacks were at the uh, Elite 11 competition. So they finally Ready ended and they myself. made their way to compete today. So we are also joined on the field level with Kieran and Overtime Tom. They'll be joining the booth as well. 22 minute running clock. Hi, Kieran. What's up, 20, 22 minute running clock. Reminder, seven points for a touchdown, two points turnover on downs, three points for an interception. And SFED has struggled a lot, but now they get Colin Hurley back. Yeah, you know, he's a four-star prospect committed to LSU. Uh, that's the homie. He been balling out. Uh, let's see what he does today. Taking off. Taking off. He's got Taking some off. space. Okay, okay, okay. And you know, we ain't seen a lot of SFV offense, so there's already a lot more offense than we saw last game, man. They just need one point, and then they got SFV got shut out in their last game by Low Pro in a 37 nothing thumping. You know they're pissed off now. Let's see how they do against DefCon. Colin Hurley has those boys moving right now, though, D. Yeah, now he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. I wonder if the hair ever gets in the way. It, it is, it is a, a large head of hair, to say the least. And especially, nah, you know, a right. uh, football helmet, yeah. you tuck that under. Yeah. The seven on seven helmet is. It'd be hanging really out the that. front. And this windy might be blowing in his eyes. Who knows? So the guy you have to keep your eye on when SFE is on offense is number four, back Jeremiah back Smith. Back out, he back is back at the out, bottom of your screen. Back now back he's in out, motion out. right now. He oh, is. Mr. Hurley's here. He is unbelievable, and they look for him whenever they can. Balls away. And it's incomplete right there. Right. The ball just went over by me, guys. I'm about to drop a dime. <laughs> so we had four divisionals. If you won your divisional, you got invited to LA for the other nine teams since Low Pro won two of the divisionals. The other nine teams were compromised of teams that we deemed worthy. SFE was one of those teams. And DEFCON won OT7 East. And D, as good as Colin Hurley is and is going to have a great career, he's had a little bit of an up and down spring in games that we've called. Yeah, nah, it's been tough. I remember he played for SFE a couple times previous to this. Uh, he was with 24K, and he was doing that thing. Then he jumped to SFE. They didn't look too good, and uh, you know we seen him for the first time in this tournament. So time. That's time. Time. Look, man, I'm gonna say it. I miss when him and Cam Coleman were on 24K. Come on. The first day of pool play at OT7 West. Was, was was electric. It Cam was. Coleman and, and Colin Hurley of 24K were dicing teams Damn. up. But Cam Coleman has not. He's had a busy spring with official business and whatnot. He has not been back. And then Colin Hurley is now with SFE. But Colin Hurley will be going to LSU in two years. He's got one of the biggest arms in the nation. Coach, that's your warning. Touchdown. Ooh. I thought he was going to drop that. I did too. I thought he was going to drop that. Sir. Jamie French, although they also have Mylon Graham, and they're both number two, and they're both wide outs, and they're both wearing helmets. So Jamie French with a touchdown right there, the five-star in the class of 2025. Bama, Florida, UGA, LSU, all have given him offers, and he is one of the premier wide outs in the nation. Okay, SFB already looking better. Okay. We got joystick, joystick warning. So I guess coaches can't tell the quarterbacks where to throw the ball. That they seems like a fair rule to me. No? You don't like it? I mean, I if like everybody could do it. Yeah, if everybody could do it. I mean, I don't, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter, to be honest. Oh, we got Alejado back, too? All right, all the quarterbacks here right now. So I was just about to say, since between guys having to be at their high schools for practice and Elite 11, we are missing some QBs. This is Micah Alejado, formerly with Trillion Boys, back with his original team, DEFCON. He won OT7 East in Orlando with them. He is a starting QB at Bishop Gorman Powerhouse in Vegas. Quick. Z, name an alumni who went to Bishop Gorman. Bishop Gorman, um, uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson. 
There you go. There you go. There you Tate go. Martell. Yeah. I got a really fun one. All right, hit me. Cordell brought us. You know that is? Oh, Snoop's son. That's Snoop Dogg's son. He was a problem there, too. I'm not going to lie. Find the game, he just ain't want to play ball, huh? He want to take nah, on the he, business. He got, he got to, he got to UCLA. I think he was doing music or something. He's doing everything. He's just doing business. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, fellas, I'm down here with Colin Hurley. He's getting warmed up a little bit. Hey, you're back now at 027. Nice to see you, man. Where you been? Nice beer. Thank you. Where you been at? I was at Elite 11. Uh, okay, playing a little bit of quarterback out there. The team is struggling a little bit. Yeah. We got to win. Sorry. Coach doesn't want him to have fun, man. SFB officially my least favorite team out here. Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Triple O, that boy looking shifty. We gotta win. That's Robert Ortega Jr. Class of 2026. Big boy, five foot six. Real question is, has SFB won a game yet? SFE has not won a game yet. Well, not today, not today. They won. Yesterday, I don't think they won either. No, they won no. too, yeah. It's crazy. Them and Raw Miami, man. But Raw Miami showed up with the uh, with their Elite 11 quarterback, and now I guess uh, SFE's gonna do the same thing. Seemed like a different team. <laughs> Nine nothing for SFE right now. Man, what's going on up there? Bro? I need a Snickers, <laughs> man. Yeah, he's he's a Snickers. Throwing it deep. Ooh. Touchdown, <laughs> South oh. Express. Dalen Platt. Oh, okay, SFE. Okay, SFE. SFE finding the mojo. D, take another look at this throw by Kyle. This quarterback's making a huge difference. What a dime. What a dime. What a dime. I like to think that I helped him do that. You know, think so? I, think you're, yeah, I think your 12 second interview gave him all the energy he needed. You know? What if Loki, if you would have kept interviewing him, he probably wouldn't have made that throw. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. If anyone's over here from the OT broadcast, the SFE coach reminds me a lot of Tim Fan. <laughs> Oh, good grab. Is that a flag? Yep, it is. We cannot tackle in this That's a beautiful game of 7 by 7 Nitro Tuggle always gets me, man, every time I hear it. Nitro Tuggle. Pound for pound greatest name in OT7 history. Got to be. And, and, we've Nitro heard, Tuggle. and we've heard some great names out here. Tom, your boy Bear. Bear Bachmeyer. Bear Bachmeyer. Hey, you know what I found out? Bear's little brother's name is Tiger. It's Are you serious? A, That's serious. A huge miss opportunity. Jerry, now you might have already knew that. I don't, I'm not sure. Someone told me again that. Nah, yesterday. he's not from Texas. I would have known. <laughs> it's a huge miss opportunity. He should be named Cub. But that's just my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> just, if you had bear and bear cub, and cub. Just, I mean, that's that's a layup. One, Back to work two, here for Alejado going over the middle. Second down. You second know, down. I want to continue my hatred of SFE. Would you agree they have the worst name here? South Florida Express is like a cool thing. I don't mind it. But compared to all the other ones, Midwest Boom, Pressure, Defcon, Trilly, Low Pro. All right. I don't know. <laughs> the legends. The legends. Know. Yeah, come on now. I don't California know. Power reminds me of an electric company. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro rolling out, running. Lying. And he, I believe, is I he's in. in. Like is he, he in? in? I thought he was in there. Uh, hey, Mark, you short. Hey, the ref, Mark, I'm short. The, the ref has the best view. I saw where that ref was when he made that call. He, uh, nah, he was right there. He's tripping. He was right there. You are you are scared of these zebras. <laughs> Let's take another look right here. I just want some calls. Yo, I mean, I mean, are we good on that one? I'm just saying. Oh, man, I didn't get a chance to see that replay. Wow. We're good. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I will say this about DEFCON, man. I, out of all the divisional champions, I feel like they, they just kind of, they're really, really under the radar right now. What do y'all think? I think they're, nobody's really thinking about them winning this whole thing. You know? I, I agree. By the way, we're showing the replay because the pause in the action is if DEFCON scored or not. We stopped the clock. Hey, as we're looking at it, reminder, Spend your Saturday with us at the Adidas Throwdown, one-of-a-kind skills competition. 
the best athletes, best players in the country competing in one-of-a-kind events. QBs, wideouts, linemen, it'll be great. Tune in. Easy. Touchdown, Easy. Death Con. Easy. Terrell Short Jr. from Opelika. Easy. Formerly with SFE, now with DEF CON. Gets into the end zone, 16 to 7. And D, we have a magician oh, for joining the booth with us right now. A magician? Hey, wait, well, let's get him a headset. I was just made aware of this too, and, and now I'm excited about it. Surprise! How you doing? Magician going on? Good. Good. Alex, overtime day, great to meet you. Yeah, going nice on, to meet you, Alex. I have a confession. My name's D, but I've never seen Magic in you haven't person seen? before. Okay, Alex and D. And, and and by the way, if I just interrupt with a little football, just continue, with, with, okay. continue with your nah, thing. Man, I'm locking on a magic. That's cool now. All right, here we go. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Dude, this man, what the hell? So, D, I'm going to go through the cards here. All right. And uh, you have a free choice of anyone you could choose. Anyone? Yeah. So I'm just going to go through, and I'm just going to have you point to one as I go through. Go right here. Go right Which one? Here. That's the one you want? Pull it? Yeah. Okay. Show... The people Don't look at, at the screen. Don't look at the screen. You got to turn around. <laughs> he going to cheat. He going to look at the screen. Got it? Yep. Okay, now, D. Sign your name big across the face of it there. All right. That way we know there's only one card in the whole universe that looks like that. Jeremiah Smith running free. Touchdown. 23 7 S-F-E. So watch. I don't need the Sharpie now. Because I'll just... What the? Okay. That's not the only thing I snort, D. <laughs> hey, hey, we got kids watching. We got kids. But watch, watch, watch. Here, I'll take that card. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I'll leave it on top for the moment. I'll leave it on top for the moment. Because in a second, we're going to travel through time. I'm going to put it about halfway in there. D, can you wave your hand over and say, back in time? Back in time. <laughs> A few seconds ago, we go back in time with your card on top. What the? Let's try it again, D. Let's try it again. Look, your card in the middle here. Push it in for me all the way again. Wave your hand over again. Say back in time. Back in time. Yeah. See, we go back in time again. Ah, oh, hell no. Your card on top. Ah, oh, hell no. Alex, we'll try it again. D's card again. See it there? Yeah. Ah, oh, hell no. Right there. Push it in again. Say back in time. Back in time. Take a look. See if we went back in time with his card on top. I just, I just oh, don't get hell it. Nah. I just don't get oh, it. Hell I, nah. I, I was staring at your hands oh, the whole hell time. Nah. I just... Try on it. Uh, there's a little time portal right here. There's like a portal to another dimension over here. Uh, if you actually focus on that portal to another dimension, it will go away completely. Oh my goodness. But look, goodness. if I do a little wave like this, look right through your arm. Hey, bro, this man. <laughs> <laughs> what the Here, we'll do it again. This time I'll bend the card because it's said if you bend space and time, you can travel through it easier. Therefore, we also know what your card is on the back because it's the only card that has a bend oh, in it. Okay, yeah. D. Watch. Touchdown, DEF CON. Say back in time and blow. Back in time. You saw it pop? Take a look. Nah, bruh. What the f <laughs> D, there's kids. How, bruh? <laughs> Ian, I, I'm kind of at a loss of words here. How, bruh? Let me check your hands, bruh. Oh, hell no, bruh. That's crazy. Do you carry a, car, uh, a deck of cards with you wherever you go? Uh, when I'm performing, usually. Uh, no, no, but don't give me that. You're always performing. Yeah. You're like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, do you yeah, have usually. a minute? You know? have, I also have, have a minute? stage show that I do uh, at the rec room of Huntington Beach. Okay. okay. Twice a month with one of my good friends. I do a show there. Okay. Uh, which is not too far from where we're at. Oh, man. And I do a headlining show there twice a month uh, with my illusion tomorrow? show with uh, doves. I, I make doves appear, change them into a snake. You're not about to pull. Uh, not here, no. <laughs> I was about to say, Phil. Um, so today, we're, tonight, we're actually doing uh, a show. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just picture magicians, when they leave the house, they're like, phone, keys, wallet, cards. Cards. <laughs> like, like they, cards. Do, they do the pat down, <laughs> phone, keys, wallet, Damn, cards. That's crazy, it's pretty bro. accurate, actually. I know a magician that this made uh, really these wallet that. disappear yesterday. Uh, you, that's, that's low. <laughs> that's low. I got robbed from my wallet yesterday. That's why I said. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? His magic trick was amazing. This dude just Hurley over the middle. Oh, is that a drop? 
by Jeremiah Smith. We're going to hear it. We're going to hear it. Julio DJ Jones, for it. as you like to say. Grippers. Hey, Ian, <laughs> really appreciate you joining Thank us. You, Thank Alex. you so man. much. Thank you, Thank you so G. much, man. I'm a little freaked out by whatever happened yeah. right there. I don't know. How the hell you do it? Don't be freaked out. Just hey, enjoy it. Hey, real quick, your name and your social, uh, your Instagram so people can find you. Yeah, Ian Galloway. Uh, my Instagram is Magicians Tour. So that's okay. Magicians, plural. T O U R Magicians, Magicians Tour, Tour on Instagram. Yeah, Yo, check him out, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank that you guys crazy, so much. Bro. Thank you so much. Thank that you. was dope. That was dope. Thank you. I never seen no magic in person before. Uh, yeah, I, I have not. Well, I've seen magic in person. I've never done a broadcast that boy just with a magician. Back to Jeremiah Smith. He's got this broken up. Flag on the way. Crazy, bro. I'm watching is so can i just throw this out do you yeah, think that when he turned around call. like was there a way that he was looking at a monitor or something uh, i don't know what do we got i think i know the secret but i'm not gonna say it on the bracket what what we got? you're gonna expose the uh what expose we got? you can't um you can't give away a magician well actually i will it's all magician. about sleight of hand <laughs> and yeah, no, <laughs> <it is. laughs> hey low key though it is <laughs> 23-14, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Thank you for bearing with us, although I know you thought that was as crazy as we did, too. Wow. 23-14, SFB. That's crazy. Hey, chat, do y'all believe in magic? Or y'all think it's just focus, focus? I tried to get Hurley you, uh, taking a shot. I tried no, to get the magician page. to cut your body in half and put it back together. You ever seen those magic oh. tricks? Whole body. Uh, yours. Bro, I thought we was being cool today, bro. <laughs> I thought we was being cool today, bro. I'm just saying you're so great, we want two of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. I think I know how he did it, though. All right, say it. I think I know how he did it. I feel like magicians, they shouldn't let people so close when they're doing tricks. We were it looked like hovering. he had multiple Nine cards stacked. But, but how would, how but would it only, be the one that you signed? Yeah, you only yeah, signed one. Because he, he would stack the cards and, like, let's say he'll move them to the bottom of the deck, he'll keep my card at the top. So it looks like he's moving mine, but he really, sleight of hand, like you said, he's moving the other cards to the bottom. I don't know, bro. Do we need to do a post? With, uh, with magician yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know how they do it. Second, I'm going to go home and watch uh, magic videos now to learn. Second down here. Uh, excuse me. Third down here for SFE and Colin Hurley. You know how they got um, that dude that be busting people for the fake shoes? Yeah. That might be the magic buster. <laughs> Man in motion, taking a shot deep. Jeremiah Smith intended target. Ooh, nice. Down at footage? the one yard Ooh. line. Yes, he did. What a catch. Yes, he did. Ooh. Great throw by Colin Hurley. Better catch by Jeremiah Smith. So, Jeremiah Smith, five star wide out. Best wide out in his class. Five star going to Ohio State. Z, who do you always say he reminds you of? Julio, and Big Body Jones. But you also say Megatron, too. That, too. Any big, tall receiver <laughs> that's dominant, With that's what he reminds me of. 6'3", yeah. <laughs> 200 pounds. Play clock's running. Don't hit me. Coach. And he Don't is a beast. Me. Here One, we go. Two. Hurley looking over the oh, middle. Wow. Jeremiah Smith, two. Easy. Julio. He's been going crazy today. I'm not going to lie. He, he has been their entire offense. Julio. SFB extends their lead to... 30-14, nice little 16-point cushion as DEFCON 1 will take over. It's got to be the money drive, right? Money, 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 money. Is it? It is. Money. Okay. SFB looks like a different team with Colin Hurley, man. They do. Colin Hurley has a big arm. The question has always been accuracy, and today he is dialed in. He's on the money. And speaking of the money, the they go on for a money, money, money drive. Four lanes. <laughs> it's a top down scooping now. <laughs> so what they doing right here is they got the go ball. If they score instead of usual seven, they get ten points. On defense, instead of usual three points for a pick, you get six. And instead of the usual two points for turn of on downs, you get four. So it's some money on the flow. Defcon trying to make it a six point game. Alejado moving quickly here. 
Screen pass down inside the 10 yard line. That's Kobe Howard. He's had a big weekend so far. The four star from Pensacola, Florida. Arkansas, Auburn, Florida, See, FSU. I wish, I wish you rode for your guys from Florida like I ride for my guys from Texas, man. I really do. It's too many of them in Florida, man. What are you talking about too many? There's like, too many. Bigger than There's yours. like two of them in Katy, Texas. But who got more recruits? Two of them man. in Katy, Texas. What are you talking about? I'm kidding, who I'm got kidding. more recruits? Who got Texas? What are we talking crazy. about? Kier, Our Kier, state Kier, is much bigger than you yours. Have you noticed when Kieran starts defending Texas? I'm talking about his good recruits. His, when Kieran starts defending Texas, his voice goes up four octaves. <laughs> and uh, you, you, you're gonna get me tight now. You're gonna get me tight. <laughs> hey, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, We're talking go about ahead, good Google recruits. <laughs> Who, which, which state has the most NFL players? And they just New York. Away. New York. Low key, New York is low crazy. Key, it might <laughs> still be Florida. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, it's Texas. The city of Houston has more NFL players than anyone. Alejandro. Wow. Ooh. Open. Ooh. Kobe Howard. Do a quick Google search for me, real quick. I'm gonna look it up right now. Tell you. Texas. We got the most NFL players in any state. With a minute and 40 seconds Nine, left. Eight, seven, we have a six point five, ball game, and four, DEFCON three, needs four, to six, stop eight, badly eight, if they eight, want eight, a chance eight, at this one. Okay, okay. Might not be long. Yeah, you know, hey, hey. Okay. I know okay. my stuff, man. I know my stuff. Let me see some. Hey, while you was outside exercising, I was watching stuff. I was reading stats, brother. That's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Colin Hurley dropping back, taking a shot up That's the a middle. That's a dunk. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. A little far. Second down. It's going to be a dangerous Julio. duo come, come, come bracket play, I'm telling you. Julio, Jeremiah and, and Colin are going crazy right that, now. That was Zaquan Patterson, the four-star from Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> Hollywood, Florida. On the coverage, Ohio State, Michigan, Miami, FSU, Auburn. Beautiful ball there by Colin Hurley, just a little too far. Zaquan Patterson, elite defender. They also have Chris Ewald, who we didn't really get a chance to talk about that much. Keep your eye on number eight. He is at the top of your screen right now. And he's going to Michigan, so this DEFCON defense has some stars, but SFE offense can match him easily on offense. They need a stop right here, though. Need First down a stop. is killer. Ooh! That's knocked down. I got down. time to get back to the line of scrimmage, coach. Third no. That's a great play by Vince Shavers, three-star linebacker, Miami commit. This is third down right here, but if they get a stop, they have to run on the field and then throw a Hail Mary. So we'll see what happens. The clock is running. We have 30 seconds left. Just a reminder, we have one more game today. These same SFE boys taking on Raw Miami. You won't want to miss that one. Ooh. Adidas throw down tomorrow, bracket play Sunday to crown the winner of OT7 season two. Here we go. 13 seconds left. SFE taking their sweet time. I don't think there's going to be enough Drop time. back, I don't think so either. Oh, oh no. Oh, he it is caught. Oh, he caught it. Oh, it is Are you caught. serious? <laughs> by Terrell Shore Jr. What a way to end the game. And that will do it. What SFB a way. Picks up a much needed win. DEFCON drops this one despite having their stud QB Mike Alejado back. That was a great one, and we have SFE coming up again against Raw Miami. Do not go anywhere. Day two of pool play at the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas continues from sunny Los Angeles, California. For Kieran, for Tom, for D, I'm Overtime Day. Stick with us. Last game of the day coming up next. I've been training for the biggest seven on seven tournament in the country. The OT7 championship is coming to my home state of California this June. Before every workout, you know, I got my Bevel Essential Shave Kit. This kit get me right every single time with no razor bumps and smoother skin. So when I get back to my workouts, I can focus on being the best player I could possibly be. Today, it had me feeling elite running routes all over the beach. I don't think I dropped a single ball. Shout out to the Bevel Essential Shave Kit for always getting me right. I'll see y'all boys at OT7 LA. I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. 
Snickers, official chocolate of OG7. Overtime Tom here for a two minute drill. Before you celebrate, you've got to make a play. Otherwise, it'll be the other team doing the celebrating. A football team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Welcome back to the OT7 Break Show. <laughs> I'm here with my two children, Kieran and Sniper. How we doing? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Wait, what, what, what was that? Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing good. What's wrong with you? What did you guys think of The Magician? Um, I thought the magic was pretty crazy, man. I've never seen magic up close and personal. I'm born on a ranch. So. I wish we could make Sniper disappear. <laughs> All right, we just watched DEFCON lose the SFE. Both teams been kind of trash, but good job by SFE. You know, um, SFE showed up a little bit different. They got uh, they got Colin Hurley back. I'm interested to see this next game. You got you got Raw Miami and uh, Julian Sand. So you got Colin Hurley, Julian Sand, two of the top ten. Can you tell Sniper to come back? Oh, no, no, he, he's disappeared. He's gone. He's not coming back. <laughs> I'm very talented. Uh, we got SFE versus Raw coming up right now. You just talked about it a little bit. Who you got? Um, I'm going to go Raw Miami. I'm going to go Raw Miami. I think they're going to show up. They're going to keep doing what they were doing. Beating Trillian was in, like very, very good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Poor Josh Stupin. I love you, Josh. And I love this game. I have I have SFB win this game. D and Day. I love you guys a lot. Sniper, if you're here, if you can hear me, I miss you, man. Alright, let's get this game going. Back to you guys. Welcome inside the booth. We are here in gorgeous, sunny Los Angeles, California, as we have our final game of day two of pool play of the OT7 Championship presented by Adidas, Raw Miami, and SFE, two of the premier teams, not only in Florida, but on the seventh circuit, will face off. I'm joined by my guy, Destroying, doing a little John Wall, a little John Wall. How you it's doing, good, Last man, game doing of the good. day. Last one of the day. And we saved some good for y'all. We got Raw Miami versus SFE. Two elite quarterback yeah, matchups. Yeah, I was going to say. Both quarterbacks was at the Elite 11. Both of them did their thing. Yep. One of them was MVP. But, you know, they both they both looking great today. So I'm excited to watch this matchup. Today. This is an SEC matchup. Julian Sayan, the future Bama QB, versus Colin Hurley, the future LSU QB. Raw well, Miami and doesn't have KJ Duff, though. I guess he's hurt. Is he playing this game? KJ Duff? Yeah. Uh, we will see their, uh, their, their tight end wide out combo. I don't think he is. He said earlier he tweaked his ankle. D, I'm you, not sure. D, you know sometimes you're watching something and you think this is cool now, but it might be really cool in a couple years mm -hmm. looking back on. That's what this game feels like. Mm -hmm. Because when you're talking about QBs and when you're talking about schools like Bama and LSU, that's serious business. So yeah, Raw Miami right and SFE. SFE, the winners of season one of OT7 season one. Raw Miami, uh, both, uh, Raw Miami getting their quarterback back. Both teams got at-large bids to get to the OT7 championship. Who do you like in this game? Ooh, I don't know. You know, we talked about the quarterbacks going head-to-head, -head, but we got to talk about another five-star matchup. Number one cornerback in the country, Ellis Robinson, versus number one wide receiver in the country, Jeremiah Smith, Mr. Julio Jones. Ball game's about to start. <laughs> it's about to be a good one. Believe it or not, this is the first time we get these Florida powerhouses head-to-head -head at OT7. The whistle is gone. It's time to play. I love what? how you call Jeremiah Smith no. Julio Jones now. You don't Balls even out. you don't, don't even, even yeah. refer to him as Jeremiah Smith. <laughs> you didn't even he realize you called him Julio Jones. <laughs> he know what's up, Julio. <laughs> He's talking about Jeremiah Smith, the five star in the class of 2025, the number one Julio. wide out Ohio State commit. Keep your eye on number four when SFE is on offense. But right now, it is Raw Miami show. D, we saw one game of Julian saying earlier. He looked good. He looked good. He, pretty impressive. He looked good. He looked good. I ain't gonna lie to you. And chat, we rocking with y'all all game long. This is the last one, so we need y'all the most active. Go ahead and like the stream. Type whatever y'all want in the chat. I'm reading it. I got the iPad right here in front of me next to my Snickers bar. Three. So we active. Touchdown. Taking the shot deep. That's a oh, double. Oh. Never mind. Why receiver Never ended up yeah. Yeah. in and oh. out of the hands of Bryce Fitzgerald. Good throw. Would have been a tough catch. Ooh. 
Hey, D, I, I agree with you on that matchup that you're talking about. That's on the other side of the ball. But right now, as we take another look at this throw, I want you to keep your eye on another matchup. Lewayne McCoy. Lewayne. Wheezy, baby. Wheezy. And Jason Mitchell, the third. Both four stars there at the top of your screen, both wearing number one. One. These two. are not only two of the best football players Another in the country. Shot. Holding, holding, holding. No flag. Not only two of the best football players in the country, but two of the most electric mm. personalities on social media as well. So when we have SFE on D on offense again, keep your eye on that. All right, here Julio we go. Coming out. SFE on offense. Julio coming out. D, it feels like Jeremiah Smith has gotten the majority of the targets for an offense that has a lot of weapons. I mean, he's the number one in the country for a reason. Well, why wouldn't you throw it to the number one guy? I mean, you got the guy. He's big, 6'3", 200-pound frame. He throw it up, he's going to go get it. He run track, he fast. He, he like that. I mean, why wouldn't you throw the ball? He's obviously amazing. Day, is he your number one receiver we've seen? One. Two. I think he has to be. There are other guys that come to my mind. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know, Decorian. Chance Wiggins, DeCorey Moore. Yep. Yeah. 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 yep. What about you, Tom? What do you think? I got, I got Jeremiah number two. I still, we haven't seen him in so long, but I still got Cam Coleman, who played in the first mm. OT7 Divisional, as the best receiver I've seen out here. Mm. Yeah, what he, what he did in Arizona was, was different, for sure. He's just a little bit, like, taller, maybe. That's yeah. really it. Yep. That's really the only difference. Trips at the top of your screen for SFE. One. Colin Hurley's Two. helmet holding on for dear life on the top of his Number head. One and Honestly, nice. we can ask Colin who's better. Say it again. Play with both of them. Say it again. We can ask Colin who is better. Oh, true. Yeah, we should. So, 22 minute running clock here at OT7 pool play. Uh, seven points for a touchdown, two points for turnover on downs, three points for an interception. We saw SFE up 2-0 right now. And SFE, who has ha has looked pretty up and down, looks a lot better so far with Colin Hurley in a QB. What do you think, dude? Nah, he's Three. looking good. He's looking good. He's looking good. Oh, he's got oh. oh, he's oh, he's he's And in That's for a seven to the crib, James Robinson. Oh, I see a flag, but it's holding on the defense. Decline. That'll be declined. SFE goes up nine nothing early on Broad Miami. Lot of lot of game left, OD. Mm. No, I'm, ex I'm excited for this matchup. Nine zero though. SFE has turned, yeah, no, turned it around. Yeah, no, they've turned it around. They've turned it around. Let's see what Raw comes out and does. Yep. Julian saying, let's see what that boy's saying. That was and corny, my we're going to bring this one into the booth, and we have a guest one, joining us. Two. How are you, sir? Three. Great, man. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. So this man right here is the director of scouting for On3. He holds the keys to the castle. Ooh. I always think when people start like DMing me their highlights, they're DMing <laughs> the wrong person. They need to be DMing you. First, yes. well, 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 what's your Instagram so they can DM you their highlights instead of mine? <laughs> there you go, well, set them up. I'll say, look, Charles Power actually is the leader of scouting. I do the recruiting side, uh, so okay. I'm more of the news, the scoop, the break in the news, uh -huh. you know, but we got our guys, Cody Belair, Charles Power. Yep. Those are the guys, look, if you have compliments, come to me. Yep. You know, if you have complaints about the ranking, go to them. You know, <laughs> that's what I always say. That's how it works. You know? That's how it works. Man, so, I, I got a few questions. What goes into ranking some of these players? Because obviously we've got a lot of star power out right here at this tournament so yeah i mean i've been doing in this industry for like 18 19 years so for 15 plus i did the evals did mm. the rankings did the stars and did all american games and things like that so uh i think it, when it comes down to it it's all about the upside and potential you know obviously you want a guy that's not a finished product here in high school you want guys that still have room to grow develop get bigger faster stronger improve their craft on the next level and like the look Five stars for us at on three. We have 32 five stars. We try to match those up to the 32 potential first round picks mm. in the NFL. Mm. So we look for a guy who could be drafted yes, on day one and play on Sundays who has that kind of upside, that kind of potential. Oh, wow. Hey, I learned something new today, man. And I know on three, you guys are also known for your NIL 
kind of insight. How, how does all that stuff work? Mm. Man, it's still a work in progress. Yeah. I, think, I think for everybody on every level, yeah. still trying to learn about it, the involvement. It's, it's evolving every day. You know, obviously, it's, it's, we have a marketplace for that on the on three. And with the NIL, we have our own director there as well, an own group that just puts all their time into talking with agents, talking to the collective groups for the colleges. Um, and then, obviously, interacting with the kids yeah. to see what they want, what they're looking for, what's important to them, what their value is. But in the reality of it, it's kind of like the real world man yeah. like kim kardashian <laughs> you know how many followers do you have what's yeah. your influence yep. what's your interaction yeah. that's kind of your value but oh, then man. of course position goes to that and how you were recruited where you're going what kind of fan base you're playing for yep. all that plays into it as well but i think really when it comes down to it, it's almost like the real world of like the hollywood the youtube the influencers yep. that's kind of how you're graded on your marketability you think a, yeah. a, a kicker with a youtube channel would be graded highly on marketability <laughs> if it looks like you i would say yes sir all day long man Man, I mean, look, UCF fight not going to go yes, nights, right? Sir, you know? go nights, charge you know, on, man. Of course, you know. Hey, chat, make sure you are also submitting questions that you may have about on three recruiting process. I'm reading the chat right now. Let me know. Let we, me know. We have a lot of a lot of great players here. And before and before I ask you some broad questions about who some of the guys that are catching your eye are. What do you make of OT7? Huh? Because it feels like there aren't many other events in the country that yep. can get this number of high-end prospects in one place. Oh, it's different, man. It's like uh, it's football in Hollywood, man, if you ask me. I mean, what you guys do, how you put it all together, how you bring it together, the cameras, the theater uh, type of atmosphere here, playing football, some of the best players in America, not just 2024, but 2025, 2026. You got guys from coast to coast, and guys talk about this event throughout the year from now you guys have four regionals this yep. year you know in phoenix houston what orlando and yep. baltimore, and baltimore yep. end up here in la i was part of this last year in yep. las vegas it was huge uh, I mean, you guys are kind of the talk of the country, man, when it comes to the 707 circuit. And One. you're doing a great job giving these guys a platform uh, to, again, improve their NIL value, to improve maybe their ranking for guys like us at on three. Oh, man. Tough shot there from Nesha Montgomery. That He's a cut. kid to know in South Florida, down in West Palm Beach. You got to know. Okay, okay. That boy know his stuff. He caught the touchdown and blew him a kiss, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's, let's hey, see what shows. You must have found the one person that knows more about Texas recruits than I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, obviously, we got a, a lot of youngins that watch the chat and are watching the stream right now. And they just kind of have questions like, how do I get seen? What's going to help me get ranked? How do I get on you guys' recruiting list? Uh, you know, keep getting out there and competing. You know, obviously, I always tell guys it takes to be seen one time by one person to start your journey. Mm. You know, whether it's in a game on Friday night, you happen to be a young freshman out of practice for watching in Dallas, Texas, or if you're at an event like this playing for a team like Low Pro or whatever, and we identify you, you start getting your profile built, your name put out there, us covering you, getting your information. And when we get your information, and promote you. Colleges notice. They sure. follow our sites every day. They reach out to us. Who'd you like out there in L.A. or Las Vegas? I mean, um, I, I just say just keep competing. Go to camps. Go to events, you know. Uh, obviously, I think there are so many out there. You have to be careful yeah. which ones you go to. But look, if you have questions, reach out to guys yeah. like us. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy to assist and guide you if you, you know, and maybe what's true, what's not true, and, and where you should be and shouldn't be. No, sounds good, man. Obviously, we got a lot of talent spread out across all the teams out here. But hey, y'all got to get low pro some love, man. I mean, got to get the boys on the board. When you watch them, because it feels like they're almost Yeah, they don't pass the eye test, what? but. What, what do you think it is about them that makes them so good? And how do you think, like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to sell them short because they're, they feel like they could play with anyone, but, you know. They don't look can, like it, can, but yeah. they, they do it. You get looks, what I'm saying. Looks can how, be deceiving, right? How yeah, can they yeah. take it to the next level? To me, it just comes down to continuity. These guys play together. Yep. They practice. It's the same team. You look at Raw right now, you look at SFE. Different guys every week because of different circumstances, whether it be visits for recruiting uh, with somebody's not healthy. Uh, pick right there by Ellis Robinson, five star. Is that Number a pick? One DB yep. in the country. Going to the University of Georgia. UGA <laughs> 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 
just to give you guys a little bit of scoop better listening right now, he may visit an OV to Alabama next weekend. So uh, when he committed to Georgia, he chose Georgia over Alabama. There's still some talks there with T-Rob and Nick Saban as well with Alabama. But going back to Low Pro, I think this comes down to Cotton. Those guys know each other. Yep. They play together and they have a great plan. They don't even go back to the huddle to call plays. They all know what they're supposed to do on every play. First down, second down. They work so well together. And again, these teams are put together sometimes the week of. You know, there's obviously a core, you know, at Raw or a core at SFE, but when you play together every week, all always together, to me, that's the advantage for them. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, man, that chemistry. See, I'm I'm trying to put a seven on seven team together, so I, I get it, man, it's tough, but. What do you mean you're trying pro. to? You, have you already have one. You already have one. They're here. Know, but the thing is, it's, it's like you said, a continuity. We gotta yeah. keep playing, we gotta go to you more do. tournaments, we gotta keep doing our thing, keep the same core guys, and and keep building. We got to win. I mean, you Obviously, play college I, sports. Yeah. I mean, the quarterback knowing the receiver, the timing, mm -hmm, the, the speed, time, everything. where they're going to be if a blitz comes right. all of a sudden, all that, I think, just Chemistry, takes practice. Just yeah. buying in, believing in each other. It's, it's so Third much, down. man. It's so much. So we we trying to make something happen, man. You know, we're going to see what happens Sunday. So. All right. Yeah. Let me ask you, who are your top three QBs at OT7 mm. this weekend? Whew. No more fun and games. I mean, look, I, I need answers. I mean, I'll, I'll start right here now that they've shown up. Is, you know, Julian saying with Raw, obviously Alabama yep. commit from Carlsbad High School right here in San Diego, California. An elite passer, super accurate, very Let's smart, out, does his check out. downs, uh, consistent. Uh, I think also right here at SFE, Colin Hurley now is part of this team, and he's played for 24K in the past now for what? SFE, and LSU commit. You know, a guy I'm interested to see tonight coming over to play with 24K is Trevor Jackson. Yep. He's kind of exploded, got a Miami offer this week. Yep. He likes Texas A&M, Pitt, Houston, uh, some other programs. I mean, Beckham Kritzer right here, uh, 2025, now down at Miami Central. Coming yep. from California, was playing last year at Santa Margarita. Now down to Miami Central in South Florida. So a lot of good, talented quarterbacks. But I think you start with, for me, like Julian Say and Colin Hurley and kind of work your way from there. And for wide receivers, same question. Mm. I mean, is there like really any question Julio there? I mean, we're, we're watching him right here. I mean, Jeremiah Julio Smith. Jones. Yeah, I, mean, I call him Julio. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's. I mean, I, I talked to an NFL assistant this year in a, a scouting department for an NFL team. They told they me Jeremiah, Jeremiah Smith would have been a top five receiver <laughs> this year in the NFL draft. Ah. If we can go back to like Kevin Garnett from high school or Kobe Bryant in the NBA ah. days, if a guy, there's not many guys like him, how that. he's built, how mature he is, how physical yes, he is, the route tree that he has, the ball skills that he had, the natural born speed that he has. I mean, we see him out here making plays one-handed, two-handed, across the middle, jump balls. He can block on the perimeter. Um, there, there's just he's what we call a generational type of talent, you know, and then he's of course he's going to the Ohio <laughs> the State. Ohio uh, State. Uh, of course, other schools are trying to work on. Yeah, he's actually taking first three goal, visits this Why next not? week, Florida State, Miami and Penn State in oh. five days. He'll be there next week. So look, Ohio State knows Ryan Day, Brian Hartline. They're going to have a, to battle for him until the very end. But look, Jeremiah Smith, he, he's a little bit different. Yeah. Do you think Ohio State is uh, is wide receiver you? I, I would submit. They Who else is recruits, right now? Yeah. Who, I mean, over I years, think right yeah. now over yep. the last short term, uh, what Brian Hartline has done going from the NFL, coming back to his home state in Ohio, uh, now being the OC at Ohio State and the receivers coach. I mean, just you can't argue with his player development. Um, I mean, there, there's Nation again, 2025. Could he be the next Jeremiah, next year in Florida, down in South Florida? Uh, that, that's big shoes to fill. But I, I do think that I would call Ohio State wide receiver you right now. There's no doubt about that. All right, big question to settle some beef right here. Who you think got the best recruits, Florida or Texas? Mm. Great question. Mm. Great right question. now, this class? Just in general, overall, overall. Uh, I, I would say right now, roster-wise, is Texas. I think what? Sark's got the. I think Sark. That wasn't the an answer, I, I think, bro. I think Sark has the better roster not right now. No, 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 the state, no, no, state. state-wise. Oh, state. Yeah, not the state. Yeah, not the school. Whew, that state. is tough, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that is I was tough. like, come yeah, on, yeah, what you were saying? Statewide, statewide. I mean, I, I think it's very close. I mean, I. No, get a stick to your I, Don't be pressured by him. Know, don't be I, pressured. I, I, I would stick to your guns here. I, I, well, I was thinking like recruiting roster. I, I would say, but I, I would probably lean Florida. 
uh, just from uh, from top to bottom. Okay. I think there's more balance in Texas. We talk about Chad. Don't let the, him intimidate the, you. The, Texas the, is the best, and you hey, know it's the best. The, hey, 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 hook got him, a nice roster. Hook him right, you okay, right here. You know, uh, That's what I'm talking about. You know, there's no doubt that uh, Texas <laughs> I is had great. The you know, but I think the skill guys in Florida are so good that they're, they're missing the line, and I think yeah, that Texas yeah. has from a balance standpoint. But you can't argue with the DBs, the receivers, the running backs, the skill guys at Florida. The skill players out of Florida. Uh, but Texas more balanced, maybe just not more per capita. Yeah. And of course, you know? New York football down, too. Of course. Yeah. New York is yep. outstanding. Thank you. Know? you. Chad, why are you lying to that man? Don't lie to that and, man. And, and, and OD from New York just commit to the University of Georgia. So yep. they, they can get whoever exactly. they want. So I mean, you can't argue there. Exactly. You know? They got one blitz. You know? hey, yeah. Yes, sir. That is Chad Simmons from Odd3. Chad, thank you so much for swinging hey, by with us. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you thanks for doing a great job, man. Appreciate Let's you. Doing a great job with Odd3. Really appreciate you sitting down with us. And uh, I know you're ready. If what? you're watching this, you're ready following Odd3. Chad, thank you. Look at that. Generational. Oh, my God. God. Are you serious? Generational. We got a hold on the defense decline. And that was oh, on Ellis goodness. Robinson, too. That was crazy. Oh, that is goodness. the number one wideout on the number one DB. Those are oh Sunday goodness. players, my up friends. One, one, right here, and Jeremiah got the best of him oh right there. Oh, my goodness. Three. Oh, my Hurley goodness. dropping back. Ooh, I think we have another defensive yeah. holding. Defense. Hey, I'm going to let y'all know right Five now, yards. all the South Florida swagger is back on these sidelines, bro. <laughs> Julian they are Shane. screaming. Look. Beckham Kritza is a great QB. He's a little bit younger. Mercy His go, time is coming. Go. We saw what he did this morning. But I think you're right, Kieran. Raw Miami has their swagger back with Julian Sane. I think Sane I got up. my swagger yeah, back. Oh, I think I got my swagger back. They're, they're chirping, but that was, honestly, that's going to be one of them viral clips, bro. That was the number one wide receiver in the country, number one mm -hmm. DB in the country, right there on each other, bro. You can't ask for better here at OT7. Oh, I can't man. believe that Chad Simmons just said that an NFL assistant once said no. that Two. Jeremiah Smith would have been a oh! 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 and it's picked it off. Oh! Ellis Robinson, Ellis oh! Robinson, Ellis oh! Robinson. Oh! oh my gosh. Hey, Two. back and forth last game of the day. Damn. Raw Miami goes up 11. Ellis Robinson took that last catch on his head personally and said, I'll take it from here. And he had to follow him, too. If you saw pre-snap, Jeremiah was in motion. He got his head around last second, too. He did. Wow. He got his head around last second. That's elite ball skills right he there. He jumped yeah. the route, completely read the mind yeah. of Colin Hurley. Not the best throw there from Colin Hurley, but, man, what a play by Ellis Robinson. Him. Look, you got Damn. Colin Hurley, future LSU QB. You have Julian Sane, future Bama QB. Ellis Robinson, number one DB. Yeah, you're going to see those dudes in the college football playoff Jeremiah in a couple Smith. years. You're going to see them you in the college football playoff in a couple years. But that was, that was insane. Second this down, is great down. Friday football, great Saturday football of tomorrow, yeah, and Sunday football of the future. Oh, what a play. He was like, yeah, you ain't going to do me like that. <laughs> it was an <laughs> insane kind of catch by Jeremiah, and then he came right back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tom, you're down there with Ellis Robinson. What's going on? Yes, sir. I'm down here with Ellis Robinson. Just had a great oh, yeah. pick. He's a little out of breath. Oh, yeah. How we feeling? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good. <laughs> feeling good. A little out of breath. I said be talking a lot over there. Oh, yeah. This kind of like, this game feels personal. They've been making him mad all day, though. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I ain't paying attention to all that, man. I'm just playing. And last, yesterday you guys were struggling a little bit. You lost two games, but today it feels like you guys are picking up some stuff. Is that Julian back at quarterback? What, what kind of change over the last 24 hours? Man, we had a team talk, you know, about last game yes, uh, yesterday and everything. How you went on too, man. We know we couldn't have let that happen again, so we just had to come out here and really show them what we really was about. And SFB, they got Jeremiah Smith, one of the best wide receivers in the country. I don't know how much you've been able to match up against him and talk about his game a little bit. Nah, he a dog. He a dog for sure, man. Tough receiver to guard, all that. You're a real good player, for sure. Can I see these cleats? What do we got down here? Talk to me about them. Cool. Man, some little custom jaws they gave me, man. He's what do they say on there? Talking crusty dog. Man, I don't even know what that means, but it gotta be from Simpsons, though. <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, back to you guys. Great job, Ellis. <laughs> One. Great interview, Thomas. Honestly, Great. you're asking. You're getting Simpsons in it. I mean, be second down for Raw Miami, 11-point lead, just under two minutes remaining. This is our final 
game of the day, on, final man. game of pool play. D, tomorrow we have the Adidas throwdown. Yes, sir. What's going down tomorrow? Man, it's a lot of skills challenge based games. We got different things for receivers, different things for DBs, testing the agility, the speed. We brought out lineman games, the trench okay. boys, bench press, and then to cap it all off at the end, we got one on ones, destroying style. Whose style? Destroying style. Destroying style. <laughs> got it, got it. We have bracket play on Sunday, but again, Adidas throwdown starting at 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Tune in, spend your Saturday with us, and I know you'll be tapped in for Sunday as well. Bracket play. A minute left in today's action, boys. First what down a day it's been, man. for Raw Miami. Oh. A great day. It's been a great two days so far of pool play. I'm excited for tomorrow. At excited this point, for Sunday. though, this last minute, who, who, who do you guys think? Who are you guys favoring going into bracket play? Because I think Raw Miami right now is showing a completely different side of themselves. So I think the favorite has to be low pro Two. until further notice. But, but I'm yeah. just saying, <laughs> Raw Miami. That was a crazy catch. That was a crazy catch. Oh my goodness. That's about to be Ooh. GG's right there. Now that was a crazy catch. I, I think it is GG's. With the ball, though. Take another look. The pump fake from Sane. That was a dime, too. Right That's over the arms the of ball, a six foot two and a half DB, bro. That, you, you, you can't play the ball better than that, bro. Game time. Game time. What a throwing catch, man. You heard the ref say game time. That will do it. 27-9, Raw Miami over SFE is your final. A great day of football comes to an end. Pool play comes to an end. Raw Miami and SFE get their QBs, their normal starting QBs back. Both look entirely different. Take a look at the standings, low pro. Sorry, these are just the standings for group two. So low pro in first place, four and O. Oh. Then we got Trillion Boys 3 and 2, Raw Miami also 3 and 2, 24K 1 and 2, Defcon 1 and 3, SFE 1 and 4. Tomorrow is the Adidas Throwdown, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Sunday is bracket play. It has been a fantastic two days of pool play here in beautiful LA. Do not go anywhere with us this weekend. OT7 Championship presented by Adidas continues tomorrow and Sunday. For Kieran, for Tom, for Sniper Jones, for Destroying, I'm Alex Overtime Day. Thank you for tuning in with us. See you tomorrow.